centuries, we feared the forces of darkness massing against us. We sought to hide and cower beneath a broken god. No more. Just got it. Okay. Oh. It's okay. All they all they missed was we touched down and Juno's a psychopath and wants to murder all the fallen. Well, I guess well, kind of. I was gonna say well, I guess not because they're her enemy, but also like everyone else is like, no, yeah, we're trying to be sneaky, and Juno's just like, <laughs> kill. 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 <laughs> I understand Juno's reasons, however. <laughs> however. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, as you're kind of, like, getting your, your stuff all together and you're all kind of <clears> done, uh, Johnny stands, like... I'm assuming there's, like, a button that opens the door you all get out of. He's kind of standing in front of you. He's like... All right. This is it. Uh... And he, he uh, points to, um... Lynx and S, and he said... <laughs> You two, uh, you two stay behind. Just follow in our footsteps as, uh, as we go out. And they both say yes and give a thumbs up. And <laughs> they're not here. <laughs> canonically. Yeah. That yeah is canonically, the they give a thumbs up and a head nod. <laughs> um, but Johnny continues and he says, Now listen, I promised you I'd get in. I'm gonna do my best to take care of y'all. Like I said, I am not promising you're gonna make it out of here, and I need. If 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 that is something you're not okay with, this is the turning back <clears throat> point. Because after this, after we step outside, we're in it. Do you understand? You know what? I didn't understand the gravity before. Now I think I'll stay on the ship too. Well, we're in it right now, I guess. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're in it now. Uh, right. Yeah, actually, me too. I think I'm just gonna stay behind. Oh. I'm glad oh, this is being treated. I'm, on glad, the bit. I'm glad this is being treated with the severity and seriousness that it deserves. Okay, well, since all right. you're all so okay with it, besides psychopath over there. Let me just go over some things. Once again, do not talk about anything that has to do with being a guardian until we make it to where we're staying. The city itself is practically watching you. You don't do anything that has to do with light. Do not pull out your ghost. If you mention the last city, you better pretend to hate it. Or else someone will eventually figure out what we're doing here. I'll get us to where we're staying. Don't worry about it. Just kind of keep to ourselves for a little bit till we get there. All right? Yeah. All right. I believe in you guys. I think we can do this. So let's giddy up. And then he turns to press the button and then he stops and he goes, Oh, I uh, should have mentioned this before kind of forgot the fallen is not the name that they actually give themselves it's what we call them they're actually called the elixni and if you call them fallen to their face they will probably try to kill you it's kind of like how well i don't actually have a good comparison but fallen's the name we give to them you need to call them elixni I really probably should have said this before. Yeah, it seems like a crucial bit of information to leave till the last minute. <coughs> yep. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get going. <laughs> uh, he he presses the button and the the hatch to the ship like opens down. Um, opens down sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Um, Busy. Bazinga. Uh, and you all kind of walk out. It's a bit snowy right now. Just a wee bit snowy. Um, and you kind of begin Burr. the... Uh, Burr, for real. Uh, you begin the, uh, I guess, ascent. You're not going up too high. It's more so that you guys are far away from the mountain than you're like below the entrance, if that makes sense. Uh, but you guys begin the walk with Essen and Link staying to come later. Uh, 
while you guys are on this lock, is anyone doing anything? Halcyon's in the zone. Okay. He's stepping. He's stepping. Do you know is stepping while pouting? Oh my Still god. This is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a thing. Cressida is experiencing oh. snow for the first time. Oh <laughs> 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 what what what's she doing? She she's like a little you know when kids like see snow for the first time. <laughs> she's like just very wide eyed. <laughs> and just like sticking, like holding her hand up, trying to catch snowflakes as they walk, <laughs> and oh. keep holding on her palm. I think Johnny, he's in front, but he like he's like you know checking his shoulder, to make sure you guys are fine. Uh, I think he sees it, and he's like, I forget that you're like a toddler, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I'm like six months old, if you really think about it. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, and he keeps walking. <laughs> uh, okay, so if no one else is doing anything on this kind of longer hike, uh, after a long walk, you make it to the sort like not exactly the base of the mountain. You did go up a little bit, but not much. Um, and just up ahead, you see what appears to be a doorway, like a double doorway that's like etched, like like built into the mountain. It kind of looks weirdly like a just like normal wooden door, and there is a lever beside it. On either side of the door, there are two vandals who notice your approach and draw their weapons. Uh, remind me, I know Cressa is not really good with fallen language, but Juno and Halcyon, you guys got pretty decent at it, right? Yeah, I think Halcyon's a little better at it than Juno. Yeah. I, I'm, like, borderline completely fluent. Yeah, okay. Um, well, in Elixni, uh, they... Cressa kind of just hears, or something, but uh, what they're saying is, who goes there? And Johnny responds in Elixni, um, which you guys would mostly understand, something along the lines of, we are here to be of service to the cause. Uh, and then they both kind of look at each other, and they start approaching you in this, like, snowy, uh, thing. And they begin to speak... I, I mean, I want to say English. I'm going to refer to it as common. But they start speaking common. Uh, and they say, We need to check your bags. Um, Johnny kind of, like, looks over his shoulder again and says, Um... Well, like, quietly says as they're approaching. He says, like, follow my lead. Um, and what you guys see happen is Johnny takes off, like, his backpack, I guess. Big old hiker backpack mm -hmm. or whatever. And he hands it over to them, and one of them starts kind of, like, rummaging through it. And it's a bit snowy, and Johnny's just a bit far away, and they're not, like, speaking loudly. But you can... Actually, uh, everyone roll me a perception check. Oh my god! <laughs> the metal pipe clang sound effect! Okay. I got a 14. Okay. 18. Okay. I got a 15. Okay, cool. Yeah, you all, um... You all hear, uh, very quiet, like, it's, it's a bit muffled because of all the snow, but what you essentially hear is while one of them is checking the bag, the other one asks Johnny, uh, why have you come here? And you hear Johnny say, it's a bit, you know, a bit quiet, but what you're able to make out is something along the lines of a deep hatred for the Guardians. Uh, and then after that, they hand him back his bag and they start walking over to you guys. Who do you think was closest to Johnny? But I don't know. Well, which I mean, in y'all's minds, who thinks they'd be like the closest to the guy who's walking in front? 
What's walking order? That's what I'm trying to ask. I think Cressido is probably lagging behind a little bit. That's fair. Because snow. That's fair. Experience. I don't like she wasn't. You know, was probably... Whereas Halcyon was in like focus mode. Cressida was like la 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 <laughs> a little bit. You know. Yeah, fair. So, do we think Juno Halcyon would be in front? Trying to lag behind. Yeah. Juno is what? Juno is probably lagging behind a little just to make sure Cressida didn't get lost. Okay. All right, Halcyon. <laughs> so you're up first. Me. So one of them comes up to you. These are vandals. I don't know if I made that clear, but they're vandals. So they have yeah, yeah. Arms and everything. They're a bit, they're a bit bigger. They got multiple eyes. It's really creepy and everything. Uh, but one of them says, "Your bag." I, I'm gonna give it to him. Okay, you give it to him. One of the, the one that you gave it to starts rummaging through your stuff, and the other one looks at you and says, "What do you desire?" Just in general. <laughs> That's a very open-ended question. Is this actually how you're responding? I, 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 that's a very broad question. <laughs> they, he, he, he gives you sort of a, like, disgruntled look, and he's like, Why are you here? I... want to make... I want to bring the Guardians to justice for things that they've done. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! That is gonna be the bad. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, he, he gives you a look over, and the other guy finishes your bag, and they don't say anything, and they move on. Uh, so, Juno, you're up. One of them says, bag. Yeah. She gives the bag. Okay. Uh, and the, the other one says, why have you come here? She, like, pauses, like, nervously. She's like, to destroy all the guardians. <laughs> roll a persuasion check, and I almost feel like I should make you roll a disadvantage, but I'm not gonna. Oh god. What'd you get? Okay, that's a nine. Okay, they both kinda they both like look up and kinda look at each other. And the vandal that's been asking you questions gets a little closer and says, What do you desire? <laughs> Alright, this is also Emily just panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad in my campaigns mind, those can make you panic. Thing. Same answer could answer that question. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, and there, I don't. I think there'd be as big of a pause in in universe, but gotcha. Juno goes to help the cause. Man, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> and I'm just, I just just want to point out, if I was just taking tone of voice and everything, they'd kill you. <laughs> to, <laughs> I'd like to be here, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> just a flat persuasion? Uh, yeah. Okay, I couldn't hear if you said this. Oh, God. Oh... My dice hate me. This was a bad idea, Luke. What'd you get? A three. Jesus Christ. Oh. Listen, the vandal, I have historic Do not going to jail already. The, the vandal gets, like, face to face with you. Um, he is, like, looking into your soul. And he says, 
why help the cause? This is specifically hard for Emily because Emily doesn't know a lot of D&D or Destiny lore. Just use what you know. Like, just use the things that I have told you. It's okay, Emily. Well, if thing. I get a bad dice roll, I'm gonna be in the same boat. I'm gonna be like, I don't know. The stuff I know, I don't want to say it in universe, and it's just so horrifically wrong. Okay, if you if you need some like clarifying help, I can answer some questions for you. Are they trying to steal the light? Is that a thing they're trying to do? They are not trying to steal the light specifically. They want the traveler back. The fa- the reason we call them the fallen is because they were blessed by the traveler in the same manner that humans were. But the traveler left them, which caused their own collapse. But now they're like trying to hunt it down, and their main thing is that like the humans have something that belongs to them, you know? Okay, okay. I know I know how to respond now. There you go. She with a little more conviction this time, I think she realizes it's so poorly. Is gonna look at him and go put the traveler back in the right hand. Ooh, that was good. Uh go ahead and roll. Okay. <laughs> That might have been good. Roll probably won't be. Oh no, that was a nat 20. There we yeah. go. Nice. The dice tell the story, baby. <laughs> uh, they, they both look at each other again. Uh, the vandal that was in your face kind of like waves his arm and the other one gives his back to you. And they move on to Cressida. Wasted that is me. <laughs> Honey, you were I wouldn't in call deep that wasted. Shit. I don't know that I'd call that wasted. You were in deep shit. <laughs> Uh, they walk up to they you, Cressida. They me leader. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they, <laughs> one of them says, bag. She, like, swings the bag around <laughs> to give it to them. Uh, and then the one that's been interrogating you guys goes, why are you here? I want to destroy the last city. Damn, okay, yeah, go ahead and roll. <laughs> that is a one moment, 25? <laughs> I think, I think, I think you can, from how close he is, I think you can tell that the Vandal looks a little, like, like, taken aback, like, whoa. Uh, and, uh, after he gets done with the bags, he just moves on. Uh, Hal- Halcyon also looks mildly concerned. <laughs> it was so convincing so that dumb. now, now the party thinks I, he I, might be a traitor. <laughs> I, I rolled insight and got a 12, so... Wait, did you just roll insight? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, uh, he, they, they are addressing all of you now. The one that's been getting the bag says, Stand here. And he uh, points at an area that's a bit more flat, uh, and it's right in front of the door. Um, I'm assuming you all comply, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're all grouped up. You're standing right in front of the door, and one of them puts their hand on the lever. And Johnny goes, um... Everyone, hold on. Uh, and the vandal that has his hand on the lever goes, You all. And he pauses, and he says, Pass. And he pulls the lever, and as that happens, the ground below you opens up, and you begin to fall for a little (laughs) bit uh, before hitting the ground. And and his other vandal friend says, wrong lever, (laughs) (laughs) Kron. That was a good one. You should quote yourself on that. Thank you. Man, this is really quiet wind. Can you guys hear this okay? I can't hear it at all. I'm too now I can hear up very, it. very loud because it <laughs> louder, I feel like windy basement. No, windy what happens? Basement. What happens is you guys hit the ground, and the ground is really smooth. And as you hit the ground, you begin to slide uh, down, like you're going down some sort of slide or shoot. Uh, you're in some. And then sort the of... the Mario 
the yeah, Mario 64 Mar- slide music starts playing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you're in some sort of, like, large half-pipe thing that has stairs going on either side of it, which you're able to, like, kind of make out, but you're kind of busy gathering your bearings to fully grasp anything else between the sudden descent, and now you're on a slide, and you're kind of spinning around, uh, and after a few more moments of sliding down, you finally stop, and I want you guys to roll a deck save to see if you land on your feet. Oh. Okay. I land on my feet. What'd you get? A 17. Yeah, you land on your feet. I was like, surely I, gotta... I don't have to be a 20. <laughs> I got a 15. Emma, what about you? I got a 13. Okay, cool. Every, everyone, everyone to, to varying degrees of success, kind of lands on their feet. Uh, and you all, you can all kind of like, whoa, you know, you like stop, gather your bearings. Um, and as you kind of begin to look around, um, Johnny says, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of devils. Oh, it went away. Oh. I forgot that was loud. We're turning it down. So, we're finally fucking here. Jesus Christ. Alright, exposition time. You finally have a look at the city. It is busy. (laughs) I'll get to that. It's busy and full of life. There are elixni and humans all alike all over the place, with humans being more outnumbered by the aliens, but there's still a fair bit of just people. There are traditional Japanese-style lanterns all over the city, casting it in a, like, red-orange hue. And on the edges of the mountain walls, there are many of the same kinds of chutes that you just fell through, and many of the ship holes that you saw from above. A lot of the buildings here seem to take inspiration from the long-gone Japan of the pre-collapse days, but that's not the only thing that's here. Uh, Really quick, I do want to mention, if I could only use things that sh- depicted something that was actually underground, we wouldn't <laughs> have visual aid. Uh, or yeah. I'd have, like, three pictures. So for anything, just put, like, the backdrop of, like, dirt in oh, your brain. we are brain. underground. Yes, okay. you are underground. Um, I want to make that very clear. This is under the mountain. Yeah, like, sure, yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. So Ceiling. You guys get a pretty good view from of it from here. So let me go ahead and describe the different sort of places. Um, to the north, the clatter of machinery fills the air as the city's construction efforts continue unbated. Here, the Elixir are busy expanding their territory, laying the foundations for new buildings and tunnels to further expand their territory under underneath the mountain. To the south, which is where you guys are, um, is a stark contrast to the north, resembling a town that honestly would be a home above the surface world. Here, human sympathizers and the Elixir have made their homes, blending in the architecture with the society of sort of an underground city, but for the most part, keeping the style. Um, this guy. <laughs> yeah, and there's that guy. He's You can see him. He's there. Uh, Damn, that cool. <laughs> to the east, there's a, a busy marketplace filled with vendors kind of trying to sell their wares to the people of the city. There's all kinds of just like food and like supplies and like all kinds of just shops. However, on the other side is the west, which holds sort of a different kind of shop. Uh, the west is a lot more no. sketchy. Oh. <laughs> is this uh, the strip club shop? Is that the West? <laughs> what are you guys <laughs> seeing? Yeah. Did I pull up the right thing? Where are you guys seeing strip clubs? <laughs> no, you just said it was the more sketchy shop. So oh, my brain no. was like, yeah, this is where human no. trafficking happens. No, there are weapon vendors, armor vendors. Oh, sure. There's, uh, it generally just has a more menacing hue but over are there. there. But are there strip clubs? Uh, we'll have to find out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to a strip club. This is crucial information. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, those are kind of the different districts. And as you guys are all kind of looking around, uh, Johnny grabs your attention and points to a building that's sort of in the middle, <clears throat> which lo- does look pretty much exactly like this, if you remember the drawing that he did. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, no. he, he points that at it. That was so accurate. It was so accurate. He says, That, that is your goal. 
Remember that. Everything you do for the next few months is to get in there. He's saying this really hushed because, you know, secret secrets. But, mm -hmm. um, the Capitol building, also known as the Throne of Hell, uh, it's the seat of power for the fallen leadership. It's got guards all kinds of all types in front of it. Uh, and it's very, like, ornate and large. That hole in the middle is canonically there. I do want to make that clear. Um, okay. But it sort of stands as this, like, towering building over all of the city. Um, and as you all kind of, like, really try to take everything in, Johnny eventually goes... All right, enough gawking. We need to get moving. Uh, and he begins to kind of, like... Get, get walking as you guys kind of start to make your way through the streets. <laughs> <Someone's>, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you kind of make your way through the streets. It's, 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 very, it's very loud and busy. Um, keep in mind, majority of the like living beings you're seeing are Elixni. Humans are a bit more of a bit more on the rare side. Not like exotic by any means, but like I'd say there's about a, like, 8 to 2 ratio, if that makes any sense. Um, okay. But yeah, mostly... Or 4 to 1. Like, yeah, that works too. I was thinking in terms <laughs> of, like, 10s, and then I was just like, 8 and 2. But yeah, that also makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's there, there's a lot of, like, smells, there's a lot of things happening, there's a lot of people moving around. Uh, there does seem to be some sort of festival going on right now, but it seems to be a bit closer to the capital, and you guys are on the edge of the city. Um, Man, I want to go here. This place is hopping. <laughs> so looks like New Year. I guess or something. Well, I mean, I know why, but um, <laughs> he said I guess. I said I guess as if I don't literally have it in front of my face right now, <laughs> as if I didn't make it up. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no. Uh, are you guys, as you're walking around, are you guys looking at anything? Are you seeing anything? Trying to do anything? I mean, I'm just looking at stuff in general. Yeah, taking in walking. where we are. Like, are we walking towards the marketplace? Or... Uh, you guys are... Or the You are... So, like, the city is fairly large, so it's not, like, just a quick hot skip and a jump to get to each, like, sort of district. Mm -hmm. Um, but you guys are sort of heading somewhat towards the middle, somewhat towards the east right now. Um, mm -hmm. but you're not, like, making a beeline for any of the other districts besides the south district, which is where you're at. Okay. Uh, since I kind of, like, explained that this the south is where most people make your homes... You can probably infer that Johnny's trying to find a place mm -hmm. to stay. Um, okay. And actually, this is fairly... I'm not going to make anyone roll for this or anything, but what you might notice as you're walking is a lot of the buildings have these... Were, have the word, like, commons, but they're either, like, highlighted red or highlighted green. Um, but mm -hmm. there aren't any green ones nearby. They're kind of all further away, and it looks like Johnny's trying to make his way to one. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, Cressida is just enjoying the sights, I guess. Yeah. Does anyone want to look for anything specifically or have any questions they want to try to answer or do anything besides just walk? If you just want to walk, that's okay, too. Nah, i just be walking. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Well, you guys make your way there. Mm -hmm. uh, you eventually come across a... Let me see. You come across a building that sort of looks like this, um, but with like a neon green sign that says commons. Um, and there is like, there's like a front door entrance and besides that front door entrance is like a like a desk kiosk sort of thing with a fallen, uh, like a drag in it. So some, one that only has, it's a bit smaller and only has two arms. Um, and as you get up closer, Johnny says, All right. We're gonna have a bit of an exercise here. Who's volunteering? I'll do it, but I remember I can't speak Elixney. So yeah, okay. if that's good, required, no, then it doesn't need to be me. No, that's a good point. Uh, Juno, Halcyon, which one of you wants to do it? I can go ahead since 
Juno still has some unresolved hatred. Sounds good. Just all you're gonna do is you're gonna walk up. You're gonna say you need you got uh <clears throat> you need a room for six brand new sympathizers or something along those lines, and just answer any questions they have and try to get us a room key. This I'm not throwing you into something that should be any sort of dangerous. Bonus points if you can do it in Fallen, though. They'll really appreciate that, all right? I'll be back here, or we'll be watching if you need anything. Man, he's putting a lot of trust in us right now. I think Johnny We're gonna be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Yeah. Are you going for it? All right, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna walk up. Every, everything I say is gonna be in Elixney. Okay. Um, I'm gonna walk up to this drag, mm -hmm. and, let's see, hi, uh, excuse me, uh, he, uh, he kind of turns to you and says, <clears throat> ah, you new recruit? And he's saying this in Fallen. So it sounds, yeah, so like, yeah. something I want to point out is like, <laughs> the dre the Vandals, like, up top. Whenever they were trying to speak common, there were like these weird pauses and these gaps. But when these guys are like speaking fallen, there's no like gaps or pauses. This is just like their, you know, their language. Yeah. But yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, yeah. Me and my, uh, comrades here are, uh, new to town. We're looking to help the cause and we need a place to stay. Says, ah, good, good, good. How many? Six. Six, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and he turns around, he starts, like, looking through all these, like, boxes. He's, like, opening and shutting them and opening and shutting them. And eventually goes, ah! And he and, uh, takes a key out and he closes it and he says, here you go. And he, he has the, like, key ring, like, looped around his finger and he's, like, pointing his finger at you with the key. And he says, here you go. I'm gonna reach out and take it. Uh... As you reach out and take it, uh, he's gonna like jerk his hand back, and I want you to make a dexterity check to see if you grabbed it. Or a saving oh, throw. Just <laughs> dexterity saving throw? Yeah, we'll do saving throw, since it was kind of a reaction Fucking thing. Douchebag. <laughs> 19. <laughs> okay, you beat him, so you're able to grab it. Uh, and he, yes. starts, he starts chuckling. Um, and you don't have the direct translation on this, but he says something that would roughly translate to the idea of a friendly prank. Like, he, he says <laughs> okay. he says something in Elixir, but he's, like, laughing. And we, I think what he's, like, trying to communicate is, like, ah, ha, ha, I did, I did a funny at you, you know? Bruce, Bruce said, <laughs> LOL, it's... get pranked, nerd. Yeah, and he says, <laughs> enjoy your stay, and he kind of, like, waves. But, like, with Do the wrist, like, Do we not have to pay him? Huh? Do we not have to pay him? Okay, well, first of all, he didn't I did ask say, for money. First of all, I did say that um, if you guys ever needed money for basic things, you would have it. Second of all, okay. I think you should ask that question to Johnny when you get in your rooms. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Let's you can watch his exchange with raised eyebrows because <laughs> she didn't understand a word of it, but she knows money was not exchanged. <laughs> Uh, you coming back to the group, Halcyon? Yeah. Uh, Johnny, Johnny sort of like, like j jangling the keys, like, look what I got. Yeah. Johnny's kind of like, good, good, good work, good work. Let's get on in. Uh, so you guys head into the building. Uh, you kind of like make your way up some stairs. You guys are fairly high up. So the room that you guys are in is sort of, uh, sorry, let me, I have it all like divided because I have so many visual aid. Uh, it's, I want to make something very clear. I X some things out because you don't have them in the visual aid. But the room is deceptively nice compared to uh, what the outside of the building looked like. We, Here's you mean like, we don't have a TV? No, you don't have a TV. What the but we fuck? have potted plants? Yes. This is great. <laughs> it really, it really lightens up the place. Yeah. I especially like our view of a Ferris wheel outside. Yeah, that is totally, <laughs> definitely, it's not there. No. 
Um, <laughs> I want to go to the Ferris wheel. It's, I just <laughs> said it. It's not, I literally just you said it. You said the there. things, you ex staff. <laughs> in the okay anyways the apartment is deceptively nicer than expected compared to what the outside of the building looked like um there is a kitchen so like you open the door and to your left there's like a connect a kitchen a connection <laughs> there's, a, there's a kitchen that uh only has a bit of separation from this living room that you're seeing uh and then upstairs there's a hallway that leads to the re left and the right uh and that's where the bedrooms are just to kind of explain the layout um Someone just died. What? Ailey <laughs> just left. Oh, bye. She said, she said, we can't go to the Ferris wheel. I'm out. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, uh, I, was, I was going to our Lord Keeping Tap and I accidentally exited the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's funny. Um, there, yeah, there's two bedrooms, there's two bathrooms in the bedrooms, just to, like, clear up what the sort of layout is. It's a bit small, but it's fairly nice. Uh, Johnny sort of sets his bag down on one of these chairs, and he pulls out a little music box. Kind of, It looks kind of like a speaker, and it starts playing... How many playing rooms did you say it was? Two. <laughs> Johnny starts playing oh. music from his speaker. Uh, and he goes... Alright, welcome home. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be where you live for the next bit, so, uh, I get settled. Um, and he, referencing the two rooms, he's kinda like pointing above his head, he goes, Cressida, you're in this one. Uh, and then he points to another one, he says, Lynx will be in that one, for the rest of it, I don't care where you stay. <laughs> he, he sort of starts, like, going through his stuff. <laughs> That's fine. I w I'm cl claiming dibs on my room as the girls' room, so no boys allowed. It's only no. me and Juno. <laughs> he says, "All four of beds. you can share the other room." <laughs> he says, there's, "There's three beds per room, so you're gonna have to have someone in there, and it is not gonna be Lynx." <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Juno. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry. What'd you say, Emma? No, I didn't even hear what Cressida said. What did Cressida say? I think she said uh, I wouldn't do that to Juno. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why can't we just drag one of the three beds into the other room? Uh, he says... Then you'll be four beds. Go look at it. Yeah. Did y'all hear him say that? No. no. Uh, he says, no. You go look at the room and come back to me, and then we can talk about moving. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go look at the bed. Okay, yeah, the beds the are, uh, the bedroom is really small. There is barely any space between the beds, and they're all bolted into the floor. <laughs> can I unbolt them and shut them up? <laughs> I like I don't there's not gonna be room for a third bed in the other bedrooms. Okay, the beds, okay. the, don't get me wrong, the beds look comfy and the room seems nice. It is just really small. Can <laughs> we stack them to make a bunk bed? <laughs> that would be fun. Yes, but every time you guys sleep, I'm gonna roll a random check to see if it collapses. No, he kills one of you. <laughs> he said they're bolted to the floor. <laughs> uh, Johnny says. So now that we're on the same page, I don't care where I sleep. I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as there's no weird stuff. Uh, so y'all can figure that out. I'm not picky. Uh, and he continues kind of going through stuff. He kind of takes out some like, some like pots and like pots and pans and starts putting them in the kitchen. He's like a mother bird. <laughs> Splunk Bob became your mom. <laughs> For some reason, I'm imagining that like he's got like a fucking like bag of holding, but in it is just like a U-Haul's worth of just like stuff to move into yeah. a house. That's and really that's funny. It. <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> he just keeps pulling things out and they're all things that would reasonably fit in the bag but there's way too many of them <laughs> <laughs> like he's on he, he's now pulling he like starts pulling out some like Tupperware and starts pulling out some like <coughs> decorations and stuff and he's on his like 
20th thing that he's pulling out of this box and you guys are like, now hold on. <laughs> no, um, but if you guys want to have uh, retroactively brought anything to decorate or put anywhere, I will allow it as long as it was in reason. But y'all can, y'all can spice this place up. Uh, you also do need to decide where you're sleeping. It may or may not be important. Uh, Cressida picks the bedroom on the left. Good, because that's the one that Johnny pointed at. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you said to pick. That's, I said I said everyone else could pick. I said, he did oh. say, like, <laughs> Cressida's here, Lynx is there. <laughs> Yeah, but I, it, that was a long time ago. I didn't remember which bedroom. Okay. Anyways, I picked the leftmost bed in the room that I don't want the middle bed. Oh, they're, I'm imagining they're all, like, against the walls. Like. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, oh, wow. This thing does not like to do squares. Jesus. Uh, so, like, here is sort of, like, the room. Here's, like, an uh -huh. open door so that you have, like, bed 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 but it's like smaller so it's more like bed. no that's fucked up there but, it's more cramped okay. it's cramped but yeah that's kind of like the layout of oh the wait pictures. the beds are like <laughs> pointing into the room no uh. wonder there's no room in them wait what the they don't know how to interior room? design oh, they're against the walls they're against like, the, the walls the long side of the bed is the that long side the of the bed is against the wall Okay. What is this? So they're they're like This is not what I was expecting to be complicated. Yeah, like like that. Okay. Yeah, and then there's like the way you drew it room, made like, it look like the... it was the other way. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, you did draw a bed like this. <laughs> My bed. Yeah. No, I I tried to like, I tried, bro, I tried do, they, do they not know how to I, interior design? <laughs> I tried to make it wide to show that there wasn't much oh, room shit. and I realized I just made it really long. Oh, whoa, a TV is in your uh, room now. Whoa. Uh, apparently, happen? if you click erase all, it includes other people's stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, y'all figure out where you're sleeping and if you want to have brought anything within reason. As Johnny is sort of unpacking his bags. Trusted about yeah, some tea lights and incense. Some incense, okay. And tea how's, lights. How's Halcyon's gonna plop his bag on the couch and go, I'm fine here. You're sleeping on the couch? Yeah. Johnny goes... I'll, uh, I'll just warn you, I kind of wake up early in the morning. Me too. Okay. It's gonna be a contest to see who can wake up earlier every morning. <laughs> they don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so John... Halcyon has claimed the bed. <laughs> or the couch, I mean. Uh, Juno, where are you gonna be? With or without Cressida? <laughs> um, I imagine she'd go in the room with Cressida, but she's gonna choose the bed that's the furthest from Cressida. Okay. Uh, really important question. Would you guys rather have Johnny or... Well, I guess all, all three of them could fit just in one mm -hmm. room. Yeah, so girls' room, boys' room. Oh, yeah, that works. Uh, Johnny goes upstairs to sort of, like, unpack all of his stuff in the, the, the boys' room. And then if Halcyon decides he's tired of sleeping on a couch, then he gets the middle bed in the left room. Yeah. <laughs> Which he definitely will one day do. Because that couch is gonna hurt his back or something. I don't know. I'll never be tired of sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not see him sharing a room with Cressida happening. <laughs> He's taking like six levels of exhaustion, but refuses yeah. to <laughs> you, you take, you, Yeah, every night you take a level of exhaustion because that couch don't don't feel that great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it looks rather comfortable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Johnny comes down. Uh, from the bedrooms, and he, he, like, half tosses, half, like, chucks a blanket at you from one of the beds. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, anything y'all want to have brought besides Cress's incense and lights, I think you said? Pea lights. Pea, pea They're lights. little candles. Pea lights. Pea no. Light up, they light up when you pee. Oh, uh, they're a bathroom oh, connected to the bedrooms. That's what Johnny brought. Ayo. 
Okay. She now has brought all of her little decorations from her home. She has like posters on the wall and like flip I feel like she'd have string lights. What what are the posters of? Justin Bieber? I don't Bieber? know, probably whoever's famous in Destiny World. I feel like the celebrities are kind of the Christmas <laughs> ghost. You might there 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 may there may very well be a poster of Lynx at this point. Would you have a poster of Lynx? Juno has a poster of Lynx on her. That'd be so oh, funny. That's <laughs> Would you, no, genuinely, <laughs> if Juno likes to collect, like, we can say you have, like, posters of, like, Shax and Saint-14. Would you have bought a poster of Lynx once they, once they started coming out? No, I don't think she would have, because she, uh, she yeah. would have fangirled a little harder whenever she met Lynx for the first time, if she had. Fair. Well, no, he became much more famous as time went on. He he ascended poster level after uh, the events of Survivor. Oh. Yeah, no, but then it would be weird because she knows him. Yeah. Okay. Cressida has a poster of Lynx. Ah! No, <laughs> I'm kidding. She doesn't. She's Dang not a poster it. girly. She's a... She's an incense. She has like a tapestry she hangs up above her bed. Oh my god. Yeah, so on the left we have like horoscope girl and on the right we have yeah. college girl. Yeah. Halcyon, did you want to have brought anything? Yeah, I want to set up like a mini home gym in the living room with like a pull-up bar and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sure, there, there's a pull-up bar in like this gap. <laughs> no, that's supposed to be a doorway to a balcony. There's a pull-up bar, like, where this TV would be. <laughs> <laughs> and some weights, like, off in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Um, so, uh... Uh, yeah, you guys all kind of, you know, you unpack, you brought any sort of, like, essentials, you know, clothes, equipment, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um... Uh, I'm imagining after that, Johnny, you know, you all kind of like come downstairs and start talking about things. Is that? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So Johnny props himself up on Halcyon's bed, I guess. Uh, and he goes, <laughs> Motherfucker. Cressida it, sits on this chair. Bro, it, it is, it is, it is a big, for it is a face. big corner couch. People are going to be putting their asses on your bed. God damn it. Johnny, with his uh, feet sort of propped up on the table, says. All right. So tomorrow you're going to start doing work. Uh, there'll be um, a place in town that I'll take you to that'll have jobs that are available. Uh, you kind of just take whatever looks interesting. Uh, try to get as many of those done as you can. Um, I'm not going to be joining you for them, though. Uh, I'm a bit more recognizable, and I'm going to try to stay maybe a bit more low-key. But that's how it's going to work. Eventually, you will be told by someone that you've ranked up after you've done enough work, and the cycle continues. <clears throat> we can deal with being a captain when we get there, but uh, do you guys have any questions? Jesus Christ, that was a burp. <laughs> yeah, it was a question. Uh, yeah, Did we not have to pay for our room? Uh, no. The, uh, City of Devils kind of will take any sort of, uh, any sort of sympathizers. It's how housing, food, unless you want extra food. Well, unless you want good food. All that's provided. You're sort of coming in under the guise as you're a soldier for them. But you live here? It's weird, but yeah, no. Very basic needs are taken care of. Wow. The City of Devils is based? <laughs> <laughs> the City of Devils might... This might be a point in favor of the City of Devils, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> LOL. The rest of this campaign is gonna be us defecting and yeah. killing <laughs> yeah. the city. <laughs> Because they gave us a house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just jo saying. I was jo just saying. <laughs> Johnny kind of <laughs> chuckles at that and he's like, Keep in mind, I did say it's not good food. Just wanna, just wanna point that one out. And you are gonna have to work, but uh, 
Yeah, no, I see what you mean. <laughs> Juno, did you want to say anything? You've been a little quiet. No, nah, she's just sitting there. <clears throat> I think... I think Johnny's gonna be like... And how are you doing over there, Miss Trigger Happy? <laughs> Not too Johnny, happy. Johnny, are you flirting with Juno? I think giving someone a nickname is not necessarily flirting. <laughs> <laughs> not too happy. Johnny goes. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Just uh, do your best. Try to be comfortable, even if you don't want to. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Juno's sociopath arc. What? I have Tennessee whiskey instrumental playing. Because Johnny has a music <laughs> box and that's what he's playing. He, he's got some pre he's got some pre-collapse too. Yeah. <laughs> this is playing from his speaker that he did not ask if anyone wanted him to play or not. He just came in and played it. <laughs> that was his decoration. Yeah. <laughs> A speaker that it's like it's like how our ship constantly plays the Wii shot. Yeah, <laughs> he, our house now constantly plays Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, there's no. nothing we can do about it. There are like skip, fast forward, rewind, and like buttons <laughs> on that, but he refuses to press them. He only likes Tennessee whiskey. Now, I, I like um, to think that in the event that we ever like were able to get past him and press skip, it would just jump up to <laughs> Tennessee whiskey again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's not looping it's just like that a 1000 song to. playlist oh my monitor just turned off that's weird huh halcyon is going to be doing calisthenics in the living room every morning at 5 30. <laughs> oh great he's that kind of guy is this working yet how do you how, how do you think he ended up with a plus five index fair enough I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. Uh, as you guys are all sitting there, uh, you know, chit chat and talking, you hear a at your door. Um, and from the other side of the door, you hear, hello, we heard human here. Did they say that in English or? They said that in common, or English. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just say English, but yeah. We have neighbors. You're just going to look at everyone else and be like, I don't know, someone go not say it, but just like with her eyes, she's like someone else. Yeah. Please go get the door. Are you guys? You guys are in the I'll live stream, the right? Oh no, maybe not. Oh, I am. It's just not working for me. I can't be in it. It just won't look. Yeah, as long as, you can hear, um, as long as you can hear the fact that there's creepy music playing. That's all I really hear, care about. Yeah. Uh, as you okay. guys are kind of like deliberating uh, who goes to the door, you hear another... Human. I'm going to go answer the door. Okay. Uh, you the, open up... The non-human. What? Oh, yeah, fair. <laughs> Uh, no, you, you, are you, so you just opening the door? Is there a peephole? Yeah. Then I want to look at the peephole first. There is a elixir eye that is looking right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Luckily, because of how peephole <laughs> works, uh, I don't think they would see you. No. You opening the door? Yeah. Um, you open the door and there is a vandal and a dreg. Uh, the Vandal is holding this, like, small kind of box thing. Uh, and they, you know, when you open it, they say, uh, and they're, like, they're, like, really pausing and seemingly struggling on their words, and they go, Hello, we realize we have neighbor. And then the dreg goes, we want to welcome neighbor. Uh, Do they have cookies? It's it's a closed box. <laughs> uh, Can you can't I, you can't see what's in it. I wanna say hello back in Elixney. You could probably manage that, yeah, sure. And 
you said canonically, <laughs> I know how to say hi. Yeah, you know, you know, like really basic things. You could totally uh, say hello. And then I and then I switch back to English to say welcome in. This is a uh, humble uh, abode. We're still settling in, uh, but we're glad to be here. Thanks for the welcome wagon. They, but, they, I, uh, but I don't actually move out of the doorway. So you say well, you, you say welcome in, but you don't welcome them in. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. They they both kind of look at each other and they go, "We bear a gift," and the vandal kind of holds out the box. Oh, thank you so much. I love a gift. Do you take I it? Take it from them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, the dragon goes, "Please, o- open." Can I inspect the box? Um, here's what I'll say. If you want to inspect the box, sure. If you want to do it discreetly, we'll do a stealth check. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to just straight up, just like shake it and look around (laughs) in front of them, then sure. Stealthy. Okay, I'll sort of blend the stealth and the inspection check into Mm -hmm. one. What'd you get? I got a 14 for stealth. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll say that, you know, maybe you, like, you know, you grab it and you kind of just, like, as you're taking it, sort of try to get weight on it. And it seems fairly light. Um, there's definitely some weight to it. Like, there is something into it, but it seems pretty light. Does it seem like it's gonna explode if I open it? I don't think you would have been able to gather that from just holding it, uh, and... Anything then I'm gonna, would have given you? Then I'm gonna turn around with the box and say, guys, we got a present. And I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna hold it out for Splunk Bob to look at. <laughs> uh, are you like looking at Splunk Bob as you're like, guys, we got a present? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. I I think he I think he gets up and he's like, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, let, let me see it. Uh, and he he sort of takes the box from you and he's kind of like, you know, holding it, maybe like shaking it just so he's like. Wow, yeah, seems uh, seems pretty nice. And as he's like saying that, one of them goes, please open our gift. Do you, Johnny's kind of like looking at you guys. Do you want him to open it? I don't want to be rude. I, I think that he should just open it. I'm kind of... Communicating purely through looks. Sure, yeah, okay. Uh, so... Just that it gives him a little nod. That's why I handed it to him. I wanted him to make the decision. Yeah, okay, so everyone's kind of nodding. If it's they're, a bomb, they're... I don't want to be responsible. Yeah, they're all... They're just all... They'd be, we just set up our lovely house. It'd be so and fucked they blow up. blow it up. But, uh... No, they're all... <laughs> they're standing in the doorway. Johnny's kind of looking at you guys, looking around, and he goes to open it, kind of like, slowly... Sort of peeling it I'm back. It's just cookies. And inside the box. It's just cookies. There are packs of instant ramen. Aww. Yeah! <laughs> uh, and as you open I, it up. I was like, this creepy music is not supposed to be creepy. Yeah, as as they, uh, as, as Johnny kind of pulls it out, he's like, uh. He goes, uh. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's wrong. Uh, the dragon goes, yes! And he kind of, like, claps his hands a little bit. He's like, we heard humans <laughs> like this dish. Aww. <laughs> I'm, uh, are we allowed to give them our names? Yeah! As long as you're not like, hi, I'm Cressid, a guardian of the last city. I'm a hunter, and I've been born okay. for six months old. Cool. I'm born for six months old. Cool, yeah, cool, I realize cool. I, fucked, I um, fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really quick, Emma, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just Jano's just sitting on the couch. Okay, cool. Watch it. Um, cool. Then Cressida turns back and says, "Well, it's so lovely to meet you. I'm Cressida. Uh, and what are your names?" They, they, they kind of look like a bit like. Not like hesitant, like oh shit. It's more like they're really thinking. Uh, the vandal puts their hand on themselves and says, 
I am Vikra. And then the drag sort of like kind of half raises his hand and he goes, I'm Nilio. Uh, and then the Vandal, still very much struggling, is like, It's nice to meet you. They are. I'm adopting them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I haven't seen what you guys have been putting in. <laughs> I fucked. Oh, we're keeping our new best friends. <laughs> Well, it's so lovely to meet you guys. Do you wanna- what time is it? Uh, is it lunch time or dinner time? It's... lunch time. Would you guys like to come in and uh, try some of the ramen with us? Um... Johnny's just gonna second that. I was gonna make him say something, but honestly, loading the voice mod would take a minute. He, he'd like second it, like, yeah, y'all can come in. And they're mm -hmm. like, they're like, they both like kind of look at each other and they say some things in Fallen, Cressa, you don't quite get, but everyone would kind of mm -hmm. get that they're like, they're basically going, I don't know, should we? I don't know. Uh, uh, and then they turn to you guys and go, yes. And they walk in. Cool. Juno, how are you reacting to all of this? <laughs> Her body stiffens, <laughs> still. She has panicked eyes, she is looking around at Johnny and Halcyon like, please help, get them out, and nobody's doing anything. <laughs> I, I love that she's looking to us and we're just, we're both just like, they seem nice. <laughs> Halcyon's yeah. like, these guys are our best friends now. <laughs> they, can, they can take Essen and, uh, and Lynx's room. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Vandal, the Vandal Vikra, uh, goes, We don't know how to prepare the Aww. dish. That's okay, I don't either. Uh, <laughs> someone else here. <laughs> someone else, surely someone else here died. Sorry, they, they said they don't know how to prepare the dish. Yeah. They're, they are literally just like packs of instant ramen. It's not like cooked ramen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that hard. I, I can go ahead and get it started. Johnny's Show me how to do it. I want to know. Uh, Johnny goes, yeah, here, let me, uh, let me get some, uh, some stuff. Uh, he starts pulling out pots and pans, starts like pouring in the water and turning it on. The the vandals are they kind of like have their like or not the vandals the the elixir because one's a vandal and one's a dragon, mm -hmm. but they kind of like have their hands together and they're just kind of like watching <laughs> uh, as you guys make the ramen. <laughs> uh, anyone want to do or say anything while you're cooking? I would like to find out more about them. Okay, go ahead. Are they married? You can ask. Them. Okay. So do you two <laughs> live together? Uh, they look at each other and they're like, we, uh, uh, Milio speaks, he's like, we roommates down the hall. And they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. How long have you been here? Um, Vikra still wants to speak up. She's like, we come here with Oh, Vikra's Griffiths. a girl. Maybe. <laughs> you wouldn't actually know that. Oh, someone's here. Oh, no it's Ruby. No way, it's Ruby. <laughs> what happened? Fucking phone died. And then my alarm didn't go off. Uh, That's what fucking happened. Okay. Um, We're uh, having a slice of life episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, continue the recording but yeah we'll, we'll spotlight you essence kind of like yeah i think i'm gonna stay a bit longer i just have some things i want to think about so that's a spot on SN impression. <laughs> that is a spot on impression now i have to play all the npcs and two dmpcs yeah no uh, yeah. uh but so you're currently at the base um uh and I guess you just get out and start heading the direction that Johnny would have told you to head. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
So you're kind of alone trekking this mountain. Um, and eventually, after kind of a long walk, let's see. I'm going to try to make this quick, but after kind of a long walk, you end up in the same kind of place they did. There are <laughs> notes all over the place that I forgot about. But you end up to this place where it looks like there are like double doors that are kind of carved into the mountain and two vandals that are standing guard with it and there is a um, lever beside the door. And as you approach, in Elixni, which you can understand, they say, uh, stop where you are <laughs> and we'll pick up here. So what does Link do? Uh, um... Let's see. They can full vision see me, right? Yeah, you're you're fairly close right now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hands up and in full elixir respond back. Don't worry, I'm a friend. They definitely seem to be a bit like, whoa, hey, this guy can this guy can speak our language, you know? Um. So continuing in elixir, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the character voice and everything, but they're like. A character uh, voice? Yeah, for I mean I kinda do something to show that I'm talking in <laughs> okay. not human. But uh, uh uh they both you kinda get closer, they both start hey the city theoretically if the city's inside it should be like orangey. Um oh, what? Sorry, I was I got distracted. They they they, they walk up, no, they, they they walk up you'll see why. They walk up to you and one of them says Give us your bags. Uh, I, like I mentioned to them, I'm imagining you have bags full of, like, basic necessities, like foods and clothes and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna ask, did I have anything, like, contraband-worthy yeah. in the bag? No, you, you do have weapons, but that's okay. Johnny would have explained that, like, weapons are allowed because it's sort of a military city thing, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, yeah, 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 So do you hand them your bags? Yes, I do. Okay. We're compliant. Yeah, so as, as, a uh, you know, one of them starts going through your bags, the other one says... Why have you come here? Ooh. You said militaries? Okay. What I'm thinking is like, Lynx is gonna start talking about new beginnings and wanting a new life. Would that for Echo? <laughs> okay, so you start talking about like wanting a new life and they're With like. With the elixir new ways and. Uh, okay, hold on. Character voice, character voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just come looking for new life. Meaning, in the in the way of the elixir. Saying this imperfect elixir, they're kind of like, huh? And they're like, why? Why have you come here to the city of devils? It was just convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? No. Um. Um. I heard from him. How stupid Lynx is. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, he's not going to have Johnny to lead him. Yeah, I don't know if anybody could fucking... Uh, Lynx is just kind of like... I think huh. Johnny Johnny would have prepped you maybe a little bit and said something like, you know, you're going in under the guise of a supporter of the House of Devils that are trying to take back the Traveler. So just keep that in mind. I was going to say... Um, fucking all hail the elixir down with the traveler. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Go. Sure, you see something kind of like that stuff really intensely. Uh, and since you speak fluent elixir, I want you to, like, yeah. um, roll a persuasion check, but with advantage. Okay. Down with the traveler. All hail the elixir. <laughs> Me waking up every morning. Yeah. <laughs> it is now. These guys. <laughs> these guys. Got rock. fourteen. You got a fourteen. No, okay. you said advantage. You said advantage. Yeah. Am I a seven? Yeah. No, they're like they. They don't really say anything, but they hand you your bag back and say, "Stand here." And they point to a bit more of a flat area. <laughs> uh, and they say. You pass, and then pull one of that that lever, and <laughs> you fall through the floor. <laughs> the uh, floor. Wrong lever. Yeah. Girl. No, you're you're getting oh, you're, you're getting you're getting wrong lever cronked. Um, 
<laughs> no, you're in this sort of like uh this sort of like half pipe that has stairs on either side of it, but like you're like sliding down it, you know? Um Do I do a sick rail grind? Uh roll a dex <laughs> save to see if you do a sick rail grind. I have I have such a high dex, bro. I'm oh why is my save so low? I got a seven! Okay, uh, oh, as you make bro. it down the pipe, you eventually reach the end and fall flat on your face. Sick. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. I'm just dumb. Let me... Should I give him the cool music or just the ambient sounds? Like, should I give him the full rundown or should he just watch the yeah. recording later? Oh, I'll watch Okay. Yeah, give him, give here's, here's, here, okay, I'll give you the, the full. Oh, okay. The full, they said the give him the sauce. I'll give you the full. I'll give you the full sauce. It was. It was cool. I'll give you the full sauce. Ruby. done kind of like looking around i guess you need to start figuring out a way to find the party <laughs> um i'm trying to think of a good way to do it uh you can't pull out your ghost and call good. them go ahead yeah um sorry emma was gonna say something emma juno's probably just like sulking looking out the window while we have guests and if he's just walking around out there Theoretically, Juno could just see Lynx and be like, holy shit. Hold on, hold on. Lynx okay. wants to be... Hold on. I don't he's think walking he around the town. Yet. He's looking for... He's asking. Mean? He's walking around. He's asking for if they've seen this person. And I'm showing them okay. pictures of... Pictures on what? Aiden. Your cell phone? No! Oh. Oh, <laughs> you keep pictures of the team in your wallet? Yes! No, no he does. He keeps a picture of... When did we mm. take a picture? Never. Yeah, no. You guys that's have a, this, like, really uh, part three of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure picture in his wallet at all times. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so daring cool. our training monologue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, I'll... No, since no, we no, need no, to no, get no, you no, somewhere... Fine. No, no, it's okay. I'll allow that, that you do have a picture of them for <laughs> some reason. Um, sure. Uh, here. You walk up to, like, someone that's, like, uh, looks like they might know their way around here. It's an Elixni, uh, and in Fallen, are you just, like, asking, hey, have you seen them? I almost don't, because I feel like it'll blow cover, but the, it's a, it's, everybody's friendly here, so I think it'll be fun. Yes, you definitely know that, even though you've never been here before. What? Okay. hometown of your sacred enemy. <laughs> well, now I don't want to do it anymore. No, you do, do what you need to do, buddy. You also could just go um, wander around through I, I bet, the uh, apartment place. Is there only like, one? The living no, there's city? so or, like, looking the around. City where you can live. Yeah, looking around, you would see that there's like a bunch of these like. Hold on. There's a bunch of these like buildings that look sort of like uh, sort of like this. And they have these neon signs in them that say commons, uh, but most of the ones that you're seeing right now are red signs. Sorry, say that again? Uh, you're seeing a lot of buildings that look like this, but they all have these like neon signs that say commons on them. However, mm -hmm. most of the ones around you are red. You can see some green ones fairly far back. Okay. But do they mean? Do I know that they mean something different? Like no, commons means like commons, like where people. Why stay. is one of them green? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think Lynx was that <laughs> stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. 
<clears throat> uh, I feel like there's just so many people. It's gonna be like impossible to. You like, can, I mean, that. you can start asking around. Yeah, Lynx is gonna be asking around. That's Do you what he's ask doing. Ask an elixir or find a human. He wants to find humans. He's okay, racist. Yeah. Okay, so you, you find maybe like a group of humans. What do you say? Yeah. He's... Ask, uh... <clears throat> oh, shit. What do you say that? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, my friends. I'm, I'm new around. Have you guys seen a group of people... Who's uh, getting a Discord call right now? That's me. Sorry. Oh, okay, you're good. Um, have you seen a group of people that are also new? I got separated group. Uh, one of, the, there's like a female in the group. She's like, do you, uh, want to tell us what they look like, maybe? <laughs> um, all of them are exos. No. That's not, not even true. accurate. That's not even accurate. Hey. There's two. Oh, Chris is exactly half of them are exos. I forget. <clears throat> uh, two exos and a s two awoken, right? Johnny's also yeah. awoken. Uh, yes, Johnny's, Johnny's awoken. If only if only one of you, if only someone in the group was wearing very distinctive and somewhat eye-catching clothing, are that they fit some sort of genre or stereotype that someone might look over and go, "Hey, that's a little strange, but okay." Dude, Johnny's a fucking cowboy. Ooh. Oh. I was like, this is what are you saying looks weird. Hang Whoa. on. Johnny's a fucking cowboy. I figured he just walked over and be like, hey. Slow. Yeah. Uh, and one of them looks like a cowboy. An awoken cowboy. Alright, let me roll to see if they saw anything. Links is so stupid. Alright, you're in luck. Uh, one of the other members <laughs> of the group goes, uh, I actually think I saw a cowboy. I remember thinking it was a little weird. Uh, I think they headed that direction, probably towards some of those uh, green, um, green commons, maybe. Uh, and he kind of he points you in a direction. There's a bunch of d green commons, sort of like further in, but he points you in a specific direction. Dick. Lynx goes, "Thank you," and sprints off. <laughs> and he runs off at full speed. He's doing the Flint Lockwood run. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay, as you run over there, you're seeing more and more of these green signs. Why did... why did the... why... no, no this is not... I don't want to be underwater. <laughs> uh... Me. I want that so, you're, you're kind of surrounded by a lot of these, like, green buildings. Um, the buildings have, like, the entrance door and then, like, a kiosk. Um, and while you're here, Juno, I want you to roll Perception. Okay. That is an 18. Yeah, uh, you see Lynx, like, doing the, 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 y'all know what the Flint Lockwood run is, or Officer Earl, maybe? Where he's, like, running like that? Yeah, I think it's the Officer Earl. No. Yeah. Like, okay. like, hands, like, pointed, just, like, pumping. <laughs> just booking it. This run. <laughs> oh, I know it. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lynx, is, Lynx is currently. Do you know you see Lynx doing that, and then he sort of just like stops. Oh, what are you doing? Very loudly, she's gonna be like, "Oh my god, it's Lynx!" And then she's just gonna grab the keys and run out. Okay, you run okay. out past uh, Vikra and Milio, uh, and they both kind of like look at the rest of the group and like, "Do we need to?" Leave with her. Uh, no, no it's, don't be silly. it's fine. Okay, so no one's coming with. The ramen's her. almost ready. We haven't even <laughs> we haven't even finished making our lunch yet. You guys stay here. I'll go keep an eye on her. I'll go with her. Okay, so it's just Johnny and Halcyon in here with the with the fall. Yep. Or the like. Cool. Uh, We're cooking up a storm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you know, it, Lynx is sort of looking around, like kind of like. Ooga Booga Spongebob is what I'm actually What are you doing as you approach? I guess she's just gonna run up and be like, Lynx! You know, like, 
a, a sane person would do. Yeah, that's fair. What the fuck? It's too ooga booga. This is like the street view, maybe. No water. Okay. But, you know. Lynx, you there, bud? Yes, Lynx is here. I, I thought I thought they were still going. <clears throat> He's gonna hear his name. He's gonna instantly turn towards that direction. Do I know how far am I from them? I, I'd imagine you know only a few feet away. You'd probably be able to see him. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'll I'll catch perif. Start going towards them. Yeah. Thankful to see a friendly face. In this <laughs> giant city. Yeah. Lynx is claustrophobic. So. In a giant city, you're feeling claustrophobic. Yes. He's underground. That's there's fair. so many people. That's fair. That's fair. Does did Link say that in here? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> I guess. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Emma. Oh no, I don't. Is Link, so Link's came up to Yeah, Link's is seeing him and saying, Hey! Where's Halcyon? And where's Cowboy? Oh, they're inside, uh, oh. making ramen for our new friends. <laughs> new friends? Do you want to react to the Already? new friends comment? Side eye. Bombastic <laughs> side eye. Side eye. <laughs> <laughs> Love. You're just gonna go, I'm glad to see you made it. Where's, where's Essen? Um... Did they kill him at the gate? <laughs> <laughs> no, he stayed back a little bit longer. I don't think he's ready to go in. Oh, okay. He's He sounds like he should be able to find his way, though. <laughs> okay. Um, come inside, I, I guess. It, just a fair warning, there we have some neighbors over. They right bought now. us and spent ramen as a gift. Yeah, it was really cute, you missed it. Sorry, it was really lovely. <laughs> so kawaii. So kawaii. Alright, y'all head back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up. I think enough yeah. time has definitely passed for the uh... Oh yeah, ramen's done. Yeah, ramen is yep. done. One second. Um, also, is that get the silly music freaking, is that a bench? Uh, yeah, yeah Halcyon that's, that's Halcyon's, that's Halcyon's home gym. <laughs> that's gas. Yeah, Halcyon's um, brought his whole home gym. Halcyon's getting pumped, bro. Um, yeah, so you, you guys walk in to the thing. Uh, I'm gonna say there's like ramen already being sat down on the tables. Lynx, you walk in, let me go ahead and describe the apartment for you. Um, so there's like, there's this living room, which is pretty much accurate besides like the Ferris wheel and the TV and all that. Uh, Halcyon has set up a home gym because he decided he wants to sleep on the couch. Uh, That's but when so you first walk in, there's like a kitchen area kind of off to the left, which is kind of connected to the living room that you're currently seeing. And then upstairs, there's a hallway that goes left and right. And there are like some pretty small bedrooms with like bolted down beds, three in each. Uh, that's kind of the layout, and you come in to there are there is a vandal and a dreg, kind of sitting at the kitchen table with Halcyon and Johnny, and they both look up to you and they both like look very alert. Uh, and as you come in, Johnny goes, "Ah, oh, there he is. I was wondering when you'd show up." Hello there, Johnny. Good to see you again. I know it wasn't, Link. but it sounded so, like, sarcastic towards Halcyon. <laughs> like, ah, my friend Johnny, the only person in here that matters. Good to see specifically <laughs> you and no one else. I know that's not how you meant it, though. Halcyon cries robot tears. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyone saying or doing anything? Anyways, uh, Links, these are our new neighbors, uh, Vikra and Milio. Yeah, you uh, got it right. Whenever you say guys. the names, the, uh, Vandal raises their arm and the Dreg raises their arm. Uh, guys, this is, uh, Links. He's with us. Yeah, uh, Milio, the Dreg goes, it 
good to meet you. Uh, and the vandal goes, Have you been here a long time? No. Um, do I admit that I just got here? Yeah, I do. Um, no. Just speak to, the, them, and speak to them and elix me. Uh, in full I, elix I, me. Yeah. No. I just got here. You say that in I was a little behind. You say in Elixir and they look delighted. And they're like, uh, Vikra, the Vandals. Oh, good. We. You look familiar, but I must be mistaken. I have felt so genuinely bad for making them speak common. <laughs> because they're clearly having such a hard time, but I never <laughs> had a good pivot point to be like, okay, we're speaking Elixney now. To be fair, Because the main is... person talking to them doesn't speak Elixney. Yeah, I was gonna say, they seem to be able to get by with common, and if you speak full Elixney, Cressida is not yeah. mega great at it. I just feel so bad! It's okay. No, I do too. Um, they deserve better. I... <laughs> Go ahead. Why does you know hate Can I try to insight or something on why they know why they think Lynx looks familiar? I don't think there's a way I could justify you getting any okay. information out of that. You could ask. Lynx, Lynx Can killed I their grandma. Can I personally infer that it's possibly because he there are posters of Lynx for being in the Crucible? Yeah, I think he has public renown. I think he oh, fuck. that it's somewhat possible that I didn't think about that Lynx is a celebrity <laughs> okay <laughs> Mr. shit Crucible senior <laughs> Mr. Crucible fuck. senior <laughs> <Not>. fuck <laughs> I Alex forgot about that the Alex you don't care about the Crucible yeah They're but it means they'll know guardian. you're a guardian oh boy <laughs> Ooh, we gotta do something them. about you I've got a disguise kit uh, yeah, we might have to disguise Lynx at some point coming up. <laughs> Actually, before we go do our job. No, I think this is a good in-character thing. I think whenever they say like, "Oh yeah, you look familiar for some reason," uh, you all kind of see Johnny just like he's been kind of like using his fork and eating the ramen. He just kind of stops. <laughs> <laughs> he has a brain blast. <laughs> yeah, he kind of stops, and then he looks over at Lynx with very wide eyes. And he's like, "I guess he just has one of those faces." <laughs> yeah, Cressida didn't hear that because it was a Lixney, right? Yeah. Yeah. You might have heard words oh, yeah. like Cressida's illiterate. Yeah, you might have heard you might have understood things like, you know, let's see. That's <laughs> I just really she really had the voice mod on. Uh, yeah. They, yeah, you did. You might have you might have understood things like Let's see, they said, oh yeah, you seem familiar. You might have mm -hmm. roughly gathered that they were just talking about knowing Lynx, but that's really kind of it. Okay, yeah, she doesn't know enough to, she's just like mm -hmm. grinning as yeah. she's introducing her friends to her friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everyone else is very nervous. <laughs> yeah, Johnny's like, still somewhat- Why do like, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's chow down everyone. <laughs> Um, do we want to continue to roleplay this out, or do we want to skip the meal? We can we'll skip see. the meal, but I need- I need to know how they like the ramen. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. We'll- we'll skip two after this and- oh, Emma, did you want to say something? I want to say Juno's not sitting at the table with them. She is standing off to the side eating her ramen by herself. Hey, why is Juno so- You can ask why her, she's her You can ask her okay. later. Okay. Juno's gonna whisper to her new- or Cressida's gonna whisper <laughs> to her new friends and be like, don't mind her, she's just shy. Uh, Emilio says, <laughs> it is okay. Uh, so, they have the ramen in front of them, and they all kind of see you eating, and Emilio grabs sort of the, like, his hand is a lot bigger than a human hand, so he kind of grabs mm -hmm. the, like, I don't know, do, are you guys using forks or spoons? I got forks. He, 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 he grabs everything. the fork and he holds it really awkwardly. And Emilio is kind of like, or Vikra is kind of like holding the bowl and like looking at it, and they're like watching you and trying to figure out how to go at it. Ugh. Um, sorry. And then they, 
Vicar goes, can I, is, and then she holds up like the force and says, is necessary? Uh, yeah. I, not, not exactly. Uh, What's up, people? Mikra and Milio, or Vikra and Milio look at each other, uh, they set their forks down, and then they grab the bowls and just put them to their mouths and cut their heads <laughs> back, and you hear Hell the most, yeah, like, yeah. disgusting, just like... This and is they, the beauty of the beast. They clean the bowls and set them down, uh, almost roughly at the same time, and then... <laughs> After kind of a bit of silence, uh, you hear from Melio, <laughs> and then Lynx. Never go mind. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I was just gonna say uh, they both kind of at their own pace go. That was how the humans say uh, human phrase. Bussin. That's shit. the word you're looking for. <laughs> 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 it was bussin. Emilio goes, busting? Bussin. Bus in. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the all bus in? In the food. The bus is in the food. <laughs> There, there is no bus in the food, don't listen to her. Vicar goes, We need study human phrase. Oh, I can- I Can, can I- help. can I say, like, an Alexni, yeah. like, quip back to make them feel a little bit more comfortable? Because I feel like they're having just a rough out of time. Yeah, no, uh, what- uh, Give me, like, I a wanna... human equivalent of some sort. <laughs> now I'm just retarded. Um, <laughs> what would I want to say? Why are you asking me? I don't know. I I completely thought I had something. Um, uh, you say so here. You could say something to the effect of like, kind of like human. How humans have the saying of like, ah, oh, it's so good, makes me want to like slap your grandma or something. Yeah. You could say something like that, and they yeah, both that. really Thank laugh you. at that. Uh, I'm so thankful you have you have a bigger brain than I do. <laughs> yeah, they they enjoyed that one, uh, but we can we can skip the rest of the uh, the meal. Uh, they're now standing at the door and they're like, "Very nice to meet you." Uh, and Amelia goes, "We are," and he holds out one hand with three fingers and one hand and just holding up the one finger because Elixir only have like three fingers. So he holds out mm -hmm. a full one hand and then one more finger on the other and said. Four doors down is where oh. we are. I'd like to. How would how how do you receive information like that? What do you mean? I don't want to say thank you. Why not? <laughs> uh, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, they say, enjoy your stay. And then, unless you guys want to say anything else, they start walking to the rooms. Cressida, before they leave, does say that, like, oh, we'll have to do this again sometime and repay the favor. Yeah. We'll bring lunch next time. <laughs> uh, they, they say that would be delightful. And then they, well, they struggle with it. But yeah, and then they yeah. walk off. I fucking love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're All my right. favorite. Juno sighs and relaxes for the first time in, like, God knows how long. They're so, they're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, for one, love yeah. them. Never hurt them, Luke. <laughs> Do not take them from us. <laughs> Never Luke. hurt them. He's gonna Does hurt anyone want to react to Juno's very obvious sigh? Yeah, Cressida's gonna turn around and kind of glare at Juno. Be like, you could at least try <laughs> to pretend Either. like you're not miserable being here. Cressida's pissed, pissed. Damn! Shit! You gotta share a room, by the way. So you need to do better. <laughs> Did you forget? These are the very people we were brought back to life to destroy, Cressida. 
Where no, I didn't think. Have you forgotten that we are un undercover here? You didn't have to invite them in. I'm trying to build relationships. How else are we going okay. to get information? Oh no. You think we can that just fight. go through the city, not talking <clears throat> to anyone, not getting to know anyone, and we're going to rank up? You think those two have useful information? We can get useful information elsewhere from people they who might. don't live four doors down. I... They might have useful information. You don't know that they don't. I think... And who's to say that they're not going to report back on us to someone else and say, oh, those guys, they actually don't like Elixni. I think Johnny's gonna kind of stand up and hold his hand out and he's gonna be like... Listen. I think you both have the right idea. Chris and I agree. We need to network. The Elixni are very... What's the word? Close. They believe in unity. The House of Devil's whole thing is they're trying to pull all of the Elixni together for the attack. I don't think we did anything wrong here today. However, to Juno's point, these are our enemies. Do not forget what they have done to people and what they would do to you if they knew who you were. I definitely agree. We need a network. We need to get information. We need to be as undercover as humanly possible. But don't forget why we're here. Juno's just gonna, like, go sit herself on the couch very aggressively. That's my bed! Juno's <laughs> <laughs> gonna stomp That's upstairs. Stopping upstairs. Yeah, uh, she's gonna go to her room. Yeah, I think, uh... <laughs> Cow oh, Cowboy Johnny oh. over here goes... Alright, Link's here upstairs with me. Alright, that sounds good. <laughs> Does anyone want to do or say anything? Can we have the apartment music back? Yeah, I want to hear Tennessee Whiskey again for the millionth time. Oh, God. <laughs> sure, as, as, yeah. tensions, as tensions sort of uh, die down, Johnny says something to the effect of, all right, you know, let's go back to settling in. And he clicks the button on his thing. And it begins playing again. <laughs> Lynx, just so you know, uh, if you try to skip the song, it'll just keep playing. It's like our ship. It's just always playing. This is our apartment music, and Johnny gave us this unprompted. I'm waiting for the first one. Oh, and no, it's, 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 it's... I'm so scared. No, it, it's... Uh, it's... No, I waited for the first line of the song, and it never said it. No, yeah. Um... Does anyone want to no, do or please. say anything as the uh, night, or as the, the first day kind of comes to the end? Um. Oh, my stream stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Why um, did it stop? I don't. Sorry. One second. I don't know. Oh my god. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta mute up. yourself when you roll your eyes. What's up? <laughs> Um, okay, uh, does anyone want to do or say anything? Is the stream still paused? It's not playing anything. Are you still paused? Why is it not still playing anything? You gotta change what it's listening through. Because you're, uh, it's cause yeah. you're open on... Oh! You're streaming Spotify. I stream, I stream, yeah, I streamed the wrong one. So goofy. Listen, man, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs open right now, and some of them kind of look identical. Shaking my head you. better. Uh, are we all good? Y'all hearing everything? Does, oh, yeah, we're does, good. does Ruby have um, anything he wants to decorate his place with? Yeah, do you want to decorate your room at all? Johnny, in, in Johnny's room, 
there's like what is it? Oh yeah. There there is like um um a like revolver, but it it, it doesn't work. It's like an <laughs> antique in a glass thing. Uh, there he are. brought that with him. It's an antique. It doesn't actually work. Uh, it, there's like a there's like an assortment of different cowboy hats, uh, and there are um, what's a very there is a <laughs> there's a there's like a bull skull hanging on his side of the wall. Damn. Um, can I hang like a giant red jacks flag? A what? Like a giant red jacks flag? Yes. I need to see this. Just like a, red. just like a pirate. Oh, like a, like a Shax thing. It's basically like Shax's helmet on the flag. Yeah, no, absolutely. Ooh, I'm yeah, surprised that Google didn't bring it up. What? Oh, no, yeah, it's all good. Go for it. Okay, sick. That's all that Lynx really wants. Okay, cool. Uh, doing or saying anything? Or should we? Um. No, there are two beds though, right? There are three. In that room? Yeah. It's very small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, so I have a question. Cressida and Juno, things are pretty tense with you guys, and you're going to have to sleep in the same room. Do we want to view what happens there? Mm, I think Juno's not going to say anything to her. She's just gonna go over there and sit on her bed, and she's gonna keep her string lights on, even if Cressida, like, obviously looks like she's trying to go to bed and is annoyed by the lights. Juno's gonna That's keep her on. Bitch move. Cressida That's fucked up. Cressida actually has a silk sleeping mask, and she, like, aggressively pulls it over her eyes when okay, Juno so walks the, into the room. So the girls are feuding. face the wall. This is great. Alright, the, the girls are feuding. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll skip to the next morning. You know, you've all woken up. Halcyon is awake. Uh, Johnny does not have his music playing because he didn't want to wake anyone up. Um, oh. But Halcyon, I guess, has been up since five. And whenever you woke up to get working out, you see Johnny at the kitchen wearing an apron cooking. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> who, who, who wakes up? Actually, wakes up? here. That motherfucker. Here, here, here. Wait, wait, wait. Since it was a contest, do you want to roll for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't have a stat that I could attribute to who wakes up first, so flat D20. We're flat rolling. Flat D20. <laughs> I got a 17. <laughs> Damn it! What'd you get? I got an, I rolled a 9. Nope, Johnny is up and he is cooking and Fuck! you wake up to the smell of eggs and you know that you have been bested. <laughs> I, I, I open, I open, my eyes like shoot open as I smell the eggs and I'm just like glare at him <laughs> I've been bested today but I will not be bested tomorrow <laughs> when you say he goes, morning sleepyhead he's wearing the mask and the cowboy hat by the way <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no Halcyon does his I guess a morning workout uh well I, very angrily say give me a plate of eggs <laughs> <laughs> uh Eventually, you all wake up. You all, like, eat the breakfast that Johnny made. He made, like, omelets and stuff. Uh, and he says, um, as you are kind of eating, he's like, like, All right, big day. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to go down there. I'll show you where it's at, but there's a, there's a job board. You can take as many jobs as you want. However, I recommend only taking one or two at a time because they do expect you to do them in the same day if you take them. Okay. Um, there'll be a few that you can pick, though. You really just pick whatever kind of suits your fancy and whatever's available. It'll tell you where to go, and there'll be someone there. You just explain that you're here to do the job that's been posted, and they'll take it from there. After that, you just follow their instructions. It's fairly easy, all right? All right. Are there any questions? Do we all need to take the same job, or can we take different jobs? I would recommend taking the same job. They can be done by one person, but frankly, having backup is important. You'll all also receive, I guess, uh, well, you'll receive credit for all of it. So, it'd be better to stay together, in my opinion. Hmm. <laughs> is she hmm because she has to work with Juno? 
Yeah. <laughs> See, okay, but that also means me and Halcyon get to work together. Yeah, Are with us, as that? a group. All yeah. four of us. With those this will fucking grumpy pants. pants. Jim, the reacting to the, the Mr. Show? Crucibles are back together. No, I think Jim's <laughs> look as unbothered as possible. Oh, now you know how to look unbothered. Oh my god! <laughs> well, no. Are you saying that? <laughs> Did you no, say that, or was that a silly? Shit. <laughs> Did you say that, or was that a silly? Um, I think... It feels like a weird thing to say. Okay. She said she doesn't know if she wants but, it to be canon. No, I, I agree. Yeah, I think it just, it feels like a that. weird thing to like say out loud. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. She thinks but, that, sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. God damn. Uh, unless there are any, <laughs> unless there are no questions, you guys ready to get to it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I run to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, let's take a quick uh, break. Vikra and Emilio are baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ganon. Um, and I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, w I was thinking earlier, I'm like, if he, like, puts us in a combat situation with, like, them, whether we're protecting them or fighting them, mm -hmm. like, I will not hurt them. I, I will I die I for... emotionally. <laughs> I will die for Vukra and Milio. You guys are really tempting me here. <laughs> no. You're, basically, what I'm hearing right now is if I want there to be an impactful character death, you're gonna put us in a combat. You're gonna put us in a combat against them, and Cressida and you're Halcyon gonna are gonna defect. Them. They're gonna we're, actually. We're, we're gonna defect, and Juno's gonna go feral, and we're gonna end up killing each other <laughs> yeah. over fucking Vikra the Vandal and Melio the Drag. <laughs> oh god. Come. Come. All right, we good to go. Was it, were y'all waiting on me? My bad. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, my bad. You bitch! You bastard! No, okay. So. He's a goddamn Nicoloa. Uh, you all head out into the streets. Let's see. I don't think I got one specifically for like a quest board, which I'm now regretting, but it's okay. But. I'm sure, this is kind of what it looks like. <clears throat> wow, that's really compressed. Thanks, Owlbear. Anyways, you all kind of head out into the streets, and Johnny eventually leads you to a quest board. Or a quest posting board. You, you get the idea. It's really just like a mm -hmm. like sort of metal sign that has these like uh, things sort of... Not writ... It's like a screen, you know? There's like it's a like screen... It's like a valley where you can go... And there's like tasks you can take on on the cork board. Yes, I play Stardew Valley. I know these. I things. look like no, I a cork board. I look like a cork board. Anyways, Johnny takes you here and he says, "All right, I already have one that I picked out, so I'm gonna head to it. Yeah, it just takes what looks interesting and make sure you make it back to the place at the end of the night. You hear?" Aye, aye, Captain. Alright. Good luck to you. I'm gonna hold the first ha! time since you got we started Arc 2, Johnny walks off. It's just you guys. Yeah, that I seems about you. right. The Stardew <laughs> Valley! <laughs> this, this, is, this is right, yeah. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. We just uh, be living guys, together and shit. You guys can it, act, it actually from. does say, hey guys, we gotta go get a quartz. You bring me a quartz, and you have to bring it to me personally. It's for Haley. <laughs> That's what it says on the board. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Guys, so, I guess we're going to Texas. <laughs> here <laughs> I'm in, I'm here, I got this. No, here, here is the current available postings. I will just go ahead and put them all in here. I can't um, zoom in on that. No, it's okay. It, it's no, I, I put them in the like Discord. I'm also very stinky. Con construction team. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> I say we go be bouncers in the south. I kind of like the what? sound of that one. Yeah, I actually, I actually do like that one. Okay, I knew you so would. You guys are beat up some it. ruffians. You guys are gonna take How many bouncers do you think they need? How many bouncers do you think? 
Hopefully four. <laughs> Do you think they could use four bouncers? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dude, nobody's getting in there past <laughs> us. <laughs> Nobody it's, getting in there. It's, it's more of a more the, the more the merrier situation. Like one bouncer is good, but think about four. Like <laughs> nobody's yeah. getting in there unless they're supposed to be in there. Uh, really exactly. quick. Can y'all are you are go ahead and in character, but like we're making this decision, right? Mm -hmm. The uh the bouncers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do we do we all need to be at the same one? Yeah. So here's what happens. Okay. I'm gonna say you guys chit chat about it. And like I said, I'm more imagining it's a screen Oops. rather than paper. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's still a fine representation. But you see this list, uh, and one of you like taps the uh the the thing, taps the job, and it expands. Uh, and it basically reads that the Ashen Pit is looking for extra bouncers for tonight's uh, big event. Uh, and then it has like a map, like it like it like shows like a direction, like it shows like you are here, and then like draws out a path to the city so you can see where to get. Uh, it continues to read. Uh, uh, it says, "Please speak with uh, Runder, the chief of security." Runder. Oh shit. Is there like a is there like a take job button on this on this board? Yeah, there's a, a accept or go button. back. You're just gonna press accept. Okay, cool. Uh it collapses everything except for the map and it just you know shows like a drawn out path to get there. Sweet. Y'all heading over? Uh, yeah we are. Do this. Okay, cool. Um, so this is a bit more kind of like what the south looks like. There is a mass that's always... No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh. There's no river or anything. Obviously, you're still underground. <laughs> I, I love how in every single picture, there's always been yeah, like... Yeah, there's always just like a guy. A vague, like, samurai-looking guy. I know, I couldn't... There are, there are so many with just a guy there that I had to accept it's... the fact that there was always just going to be a guy. Now that Johnny's gone, that's Johnny watching us in disguise. He's watching us. He's, yeah. he's, he's our guardian angel. He's yeah. got a hat on and everything. That's what I mean. Okay, so you guys yeah. walk up, um, and there's this big neon spine that reads The Ashen Pit, uh, and it very much is like reminiscent of like a nightclub sort of vibe that you're getting from the outside. And there is a big captain with all four of his arms crossed and sunglasses. <laughs> Even though there is oh, no sun, fuck yeah. there is no sun. He, he's just hell he's got, yeah. Like, you know how captains kind of here. Let me get one of my tokens for captains, just so I have accurate visual aid. Let's see. You know Make how, him large. You know how captains sort of have like these like V things going on. Yeah. Uh, his are pierced. Oh, hell oh my yeah. god! Like ring earrings. Uh, he's standing out there. How do you guys want to approach him? gonna dap him up no for the god. love of not god it. you're not, not. <laughs> i won't let you i'll have him fire you on the spot what was his name again fire you Runder. on the spot it's Runder. R H U N D R. nope i was almost right <laughs> I mean, why hey, do uh, you need to be here, you know? Runder. We're, uh... Oh, okay. What's Juno doing? Like, she's just gonna walk up. She'll be like, are you... In, in Elixir, she'll be like, are you Runder? Uh, he kind of looks down at you, and with one of his arms, takes off his sunglasses that are covering his multiple eyes, and he's like, <laughs> Yep, you hear about the job posting... Sure are. Alright. Is it just you? She looks behind her to see, like, where the party is. Gone. <laughs> We're all hiding. <laughs> 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 no, I, I imagine everybody is, at least Halcyon's still, yeah. like, right behind her. I would have thought we would have all walked up together. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I was just I making sure. Yeah. It says, <laughs> it says, four. Good. This is good. Um... He asks Juno, he says, Do you all speak Elixni? 
<clears throat> I can I those say you, those of you who would, yeah those of you who understand Elixney would have understood that, but he was addressing yeah. You. But yeah, if you want to respond, Lynx, you can totally. Lynx wants to respond in the back. He's gonna raise his hand. I can speak Elixney. <laughs> uh, he goes. I'm impressed with your pronunciation. <laughs> Chris is, like, shaking her head, like, looking back and forth between everyone, trying to figure out what's going on. Halcyon, what us three can, uh, us three can speak it, uh, pretty well. She over here, not so much. She knows hi she's and a... bye, and that's about it. She has she's a baby little... brain. She's rusty. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna turn up it really quick. Baby brain. Baby brain. Dumbass! She got stupid! Oh. She can't okay. even defend herself because she doesn't know whatever. <laughs> he, 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 Bullying he, Cressida in a different language in front of her. He in English now goes, "Okay, I will proceed in your language." Um. So tonight, the Ashen Pit has a big event, and I notice that usually I am not able to keep an eyes on everything with how busy it gets. What are you your got ranks? so many. <laughs> Our ranks? Ooh, yeah. What are we? We're, uh, we're brand new to town, so we're uh, shanks. Mm. Shanks, have you, that's the one. Have you done a job before? No. First one. He sort of sighs for like a bit. He goes, well, I suppose it is nice that there are four of you. Here is the rundown. Uh, and he starts... Kind of explaining a bit more moving than just the cross arm. He says, I just need you to... And he kind of hesitates for just a little bit. He kind of looks like he's trying to find the right word. Make sure everyone is having fun. <laughs> that is like... not the job of a bouncer. <laughs> Do you say that? Is it going to lean? No. Into links and be like, do you want us to spike some drinks? <laughs> uh, do you guys look confused? Yeah. I said it does. He goes, well, okay. He can kind of tell he might have not said the right thing. He says, I need you to make sure <clears throat> no one ruins others' fun. Oh, okay. That. that makes um, more sense. Yes. Juno might not be the best at that, but... Do you say that out loud? Please tell me you do. I do. Jesus Christ. Juno? But it's Wait, kinda, it is a little mumbled, but it's loud enough for... It was meant for Juno to hear. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is great. Wait, in, I, didn't, in the I, didn't even hear all, I didn't even hear what she said. <laughs> oh, I said uh, Juno might not be the best at that. At like keeping people making sure people, people don't fun. ruin fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, as, as, as a well, fun Juno ruiner herself. <laughs> does Juno uh, do anything? Oh god, I know she wants to, but I'm I, Emily is having a hard time. <laughs> she fucking kills Cressida on the spot. <laughs> she pulls out a real gun. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, in Elixney, she's gonna. In Elixney, she's gonna look at Runder and she's gonna go. I keep a little bit of an eye on this one. She's a she's a little weaker. Oh my god! Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. oh my god! <laughs> Cressida, I'm gonna say the only thing you actually caught from that is that Juno was talking about you, and that's it. <laughs> gonna give her a dirty look. <laughs> she Runder, doesn't know what was said, but she Runder, Runder is like, okay. Anyways. The goal here is to deal with anyone that may... Hmm. Here. Reason... Hmm. He's still, like, really trying to think of the right words. You need to deal with anyone that is causing problems and you need to execute them. 
Uh, I assume everybody gets kind of a face Does of shock. Did you say that in English? Yes, this is in English. Yeah, Chris, is going to mutter, gonna... oh, Juno will love that. Oh my god. Juno actually did perk up a little. Uh, <laughs> do you guys have looks of shock or anything? Because I heard someone... Uh, a, little, a little bit of confusion, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, say shock. R Runder kind of looks at your face and goes, wait, wait. He's like really thinking. Escorted. You need Look, to man, if this if this would be now. easier to do in Elixir, we can explain the rest to her. He goes afterwards. He he says the equivalent of "thank God" in Elixir and goes, <laughs> "Yes, okay." <laughs> Anyone that is trying to steal anything, harm another, any sort of weird sexual assault, immediately take them out of the building. General disturbances are to be handled at your discretion, but try to keep the guests in mind. Make everybody have fun. Everyone have fun. Okay. We can do that. Alright. I will give... You have... A few hours to prepare. I will show you around and show you inside. So let's get ready. Uh, so he opens up the door and you guys walk into the club. There's no one in here, uh, but this is about what it looks like. Uh, it's really, really, really fancy on the inside. Um, it's very empty, though. Uh, he takes you guys to, like, a back locker and gives you guys earpieces. Uh, yeah. And he says, in Elixney, he says, use these to contact me if things get too hairy. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan, Sam. He says, okay. I'll figure out how to split you up and where you're positioned. Um, in the meantime, explain everything to the dense one. And he walks away. <laughs> dense one? Yeah. Uh, what a great description. The dense Is one. there an opportunity for me to try and learn the language more? There as no. we yes. are immersed here in the culture. Okay. There no, you're that. you're gonna be a pine cone forever. You're permanently the dense you're one permanently forever. dumb. Nope, you no, you missed your chance. That's how language no. works. <laughs> Everybody knows that to learn a language, you roll one die, and if you don't roll high enough, you never learn it again. Yeah, that's how it works. God damn it! No, well, that's we, why you we, don't. We, that's why I can't speak Spanish. We'll talk about it more later. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys want to explain things to Cressida? Yeah. Juno will not be things. Juno <laughs> will, you know, will not be doing such things. <laughs> oh my god, you too. <laughs> Cressida's gonna, like, subtly flip Juno off. But, like, in a way where Juno can't see it, she... <laughs> but I need to roll perception it. right now. I need to roll perception. <laughs> uh, just roll okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Myself. Juno roll perception. Cressa roll stealth. Well, can Lynx pre-roll initiative? <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll for stealth, Haley? What did you roll for perception? <laughs> This is turning into IRL beef. Jesus Christ. Wait, we, should, we should send it. We should send it to Luke. Yeah. Kevin. Both of you. Yeah. Both of you yeah. send it to Let's me. Send it to Luke. Describe Let's what happens. Luke. Well, I, w I want to know if Link's or my passive perception picks it up too. I would like. Uh, no, it doesn't. This is really funny. Uh, okay. So here's what. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I got that. Right. I feel like Emma got a nat twenty. That's what I feel like. She was too smug asking me what I rolled. Uh, plot twist. You Juno, rolled the same thing. No, Roll again. Yeah, no. Um. So what happens is Cressa, you kind of like hand at your side, kind of standing somewhat behind Juno. You kind of like, you know, just kind of like twist your wrist and flip the finger. Uh huh. Not like up, just kind of like up. Uh huh. And Juno, out of the corner of your eye, you see that finger fly. <laughs> <laughs> Juno. Is <laughs> just gonna subtly flip her off back? <laughs> not, e not even looking at her. She just to let her know she saw. Damn. 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 All right. No initiative. Got it. 
Uh, you guys want to explain? You want to just like the recap? beef? I'm they assuming... can just give me a quick recap. They, they, yeah. give, you, they, they give you the rundown. Uh, and eventually, the as you guys are explaining, the, uh, the music kicks on, uh, and Runder in your earpieces in English says, "Okay, I need two of you at the bar, and two of you towards the lounge." Does he say okay. that in English? Yes. What's the, what's the layout of the bar? Um. Well. It, this is actually really fairly accurate. It's very open with a bar? dance floor. Yeah, there's a bar over here. There's some like, tables and lounge over here. Also, I would say like back this way is more like seating and stuff. Uh, and then there's kind of like the lounge. DJs like this is also. Oh, that's a DJ. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So two of you need to be at the bar and two of you need to be at the lounge. <laughs> I can go to the lounge. I'll go to the bar. I think House. I think Halcyon's gonna just like look around at like the the people, the three the three of them, and just go like kind of like, ah, all right, Cressida, let's go to the bar. <laughs> it's the only option. She has. It's the only with, one. It's, she has beef with Juno, and she's not allowed to be alone with Lynx. So <laughs> <laughs> Halcyon is stuck babysitting. I love how the two squishiest people end up together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, y'all hear this. It's alright, right. we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Music's bumping. Yeah. Uh, Runder be is currently- Because of the fact that Crescent is only allowed to hang out with Halcyon at this point, they're gonna end up being <laughs> either best friends or they're gonna kill each other. Yeah. I thought we were going to kill each other before. Now I feel we're, like- We're working our way it. towards best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Until over something re random re happens and you guys well. become sworn enemies again, which is pretty much what happened yeah. to Judo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so you as, guys you guys, be as you guys walk out, uh, the door that you entered is current. Rundor is currently standing on the outside of it. It's open, but you can see he's kind of like checking people and letting them in. Uh, at one of the lounges, there's a couple of vandals and everything. Uh, there's also a couple of vandals stationed by like the doors and the bathrooms. Uh, but you guys go to your stations by the bar and by the, uh, the lounge. Uh, people are already kind of getting into it. People are ordering drinks. They're starting to dance. They're starting to like chill out in the lounge. And it gets pretty busy. Um, do you guys want to have any sort of conversation with each other while people are kind of just getting in and starting their stuff? Um, did Runder put his sunglasses back on? Yes. Cressida pulls sunglasses out of her bag and puts them on. I will allow that because Cressida is the only person that I think would have brought sunglasses to an underground city. She also has a disguise kit. I just think it would be part of it. Yeah. She's got to have sunglasses. My point still stands. <laughs> <laughs> Cressida, sure, what yeah. the hell are you doing? It's dark in here. <laughs> I'm trying to fit in. He's got sunglasses on. Fair enough, I guess. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know in English she's gonna turn to Wings and she'll be like, Do you think I'm being a little too overreactive or press it up? Like am I am I being crazy? <laughs> Lynx is gonna kind of lean towards her, try to say as little as possible because he doesn't want Chris to hear. But no, you guys are pretty far away. I, Chris okay. would need to be like actively listening to try to hear you guys to hear. You. So oh, our okay. earbuds only work with Render. You can turn them on. Oh, okay. like, it's kind of it's kind of like, like, like an earpiece. They're like normal like, comms. You, yeah, they're like, like normal earpieces. You like, put, you like okay. put your finger to your ear and they turn on. Okay. I. I think that conflicting interests. Um, hold on, Lace wants to say something wise about something about conflicting interests. <laughs> but he's also an idiot, so this is hard. Um, he wants to say <laughs> that. <clears throat> you guys shouldn't let conflicting interests affect your friendship. That's what I think. That's what he said. She started it. 
Dang it. He, <laughs> I love how Lynx it. did his absolute damnedest to say something wise, and Juno's response was, well, she started it. <laughs> Incredible. Juno's wisdom is not high either. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Lynx, do you have any response or are we getting it there? Uh, Lynx is gonna be like, to not have to try and say anything else, he's gonna say, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. Uh, anyone else wanna say anything? No, I don't think I have Take anything. Take that huh. as a no. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's get into the funny business. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> you look as funny. The, the night continues and nothing much really happens, however, this place is getting, like, packed, you know? Like, it's very obvious why he asked for extra security, because there's not much room in here right now. Um, but, Halcyon and Cressida. I want you to roll me a perception check. Oh fuck. I didn't perceive check. Are you stupid? I got a 26. Oh my god. Great. I perceive oh, god, everything. Yeah. Okay, so there are these like pretty nice like decorations all around. You know, varying levels of like pretty. like like sort of like statues or ornate glasses. Like, like, drinking glasses, I mean. Uh, and yeah. as the night kind of continues, and you're kind of standing there, looking around, from just a bit further away, you see an Elixni, um, dreg take one of the, like, fancy glasses and kind of, like, try to put it into his clothing. You know, like, try to, like, pocket it, you know? Ooh. We stopped those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like nudge Cressida and like kind of like point and be like, hey, I think we got a thief over here. Mm. Cressida's gonna like crack her knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> She's All in. Right. It's showtime. Let's go. <laughs> Approaching. Okay, so you guys approach him. Closing uh, in on the per- And he, he kind of like- <laughs> Rapidly you know, approaching as, your location. Yeah, as, as you guys like kind of close in, he kind of like- looks like glances at you guys but then glances back to whoever he's talking to <laughs> what if he takes uh, a glass like a fancy glass he put it in his clothes right yeah yeah in in elixney i'm gonna be like i'm gonna say like hey you we need to talk to you for a second uh he's gonna look at you guys and in the elixney gonna go why? I'm here with my friends. You know, you're gonna ruin my fun right now? He said that in Elixney. Yeah. Responding to Halcyon's Elixney. Cool. Halcyon says, remove your clothes. <laughs> Strip! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to English now. Mm -hmm. And... Okay, look, we're not... Trying to harsh your vibe or anything. But we've got some concerns. We need to ask a couple questions and talk to you for a second. He, in surprising English, goes, Oh, give me a break, you little exo. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, you wanna he, tussle, bud? He, he, does, he, he does stand <laughs> up and, I guess, follow you guys wherever you're trying to take him somewhere. I just want to like step off to the side. I yeah. I don't want to like do this like in front of the I bar. Can I try to slide of hand the glass back out of his clothes? Uh, you can try. I will tell you, be very hard considering it's like you know tucked away. Okay. So if you, you know, but yeah, you can pat him down if you want as Halcyon's talking to him. Yeah, I'll pat him down. Sure. Cressida starts patting him down. Halcyon, go ahead and talk, and I'll give you know a few seconds before Cressida snags it. I don't. I don't know what else. I don't. I don't think I have anything to like. I need to say. I'm okay. just gonna let her pat him down. All right. Well, Cressa, you find. That's our the main glass. concern. Okay. You find the glass, and he's like, "Hey, hey, that's mine," in English. Oh really? 
Yeah. Was it yours when you uh, stole it from him? <laughs> I didn't steal shit. Well, that's an, that's crazy because we watched you steal it. Yeah. So. Lying's not gonna help you, pal. He's like, it's uh, better to just be honest. He's like, what well, you? You don't know anything. You're not even fallen. Oh, so we're being racist now, are we? Uh, I'm sorry, did you just call yourself a fallen? I know the that's the dirty word that you call us. <laughs> that the correct term is elixir, you racist asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> Educated <laughs> Cressida coming out with the <laughs> gates, brother. He's like, I don't need to take this from you two. And he starts walking away. Is he walking back to his spot at the bar? Yes. Can we throw him ah. out? Do we have the authority to do that? Yeah, we do. Can I try to tap? I want to throw him out. You want to tackle him? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say, but I was like, no, it's too grounded for that. No, I mean, I mean, he's walking away from you, but like, but I am like gonna Aiden said. Tap. Okay, you want to like grab his hand or grab his arm? <laughs> yeah. Okay, roll a, a strength check to like grab his arm and stop. Uh, just strength or athletics? I'd say just strength. You're just trying to, you know, be stronger than him okay. to stop him. I'll roll it contested. Oh, I think you got it. Okay, I got an 18. Yeah, I got a 5. So you you grab his okay. like, wrist as he starts to walk away and he just like stops in place. Okay, whip him back around. Yeah. No, I think you're done here for tonight. It's like, and oh. then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shoving him towards the door. He's like, oh, c come on, what? Halcyon, are you, like, helping? Yeah, I'm helping take him out. Yeah, sure. He's, like, moaning and groaning. He calls you some elixir He says some elixir curse words, I guess. Uh, and you make it to the door, and I you're like... I can't hurt my feelings because I can't understand it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm too dumb to be hurt by these insults. <laughs> this sign can't stop me because I can't read. Exactly. Uh, you guys throw him out, and he, like... He looks to Runder, he's like, are you kidding me with this? But he's saying it in Elixney. And Runder looks at you guys and be like, what's the deal? I'm holding stealing glass. glasses. Yeah, this one. <laughs> uh, Runder, like, gives you a nod and then walks up to the dreg and he's, like, towering him and he says, <laughs> I better not see you back here anytime soon. And the dreg's just like, you! And then he leaves. And Runder gives you guys four thumbs up, and continues doing <laughs> bouncing work. <laughs> Hell yeah. He continues bouncing. Bouncing. Cool. Fuck yeah. Okay, for we our make other a great group, cop. <laughs> as uh, the night continues... What? Um... Let's do this one. Okay. Uh, I want you two to also... Actually, no. Here's what happens. Um, Lynx and Juno, while you're at the bar, you hear... And a li oh, I thought you guys were at the lounge. No, we were at the bar. Oh, we were at the bar. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, that's cool. Uh, while you guys are at the... This makes more sense anyways. While you guys are at the lounge... You don't see anything, but you hear uh, someone see like it seems like a woman in a list, and you say, "Get off of me!" Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's, who's gonna notice it, me or Juno? Uh, you both heard it. Okay. I'm gonna look in that vicinity. What do I see? Uh, you see a vandal who is like, kind of like stood up and like fist clenched. And you see an awoke, like, she's standing up from a seat, and you see an awoken man, not Johnny, to be very clear. Uh, he's like, I don't know, blue or something. <laughs> um, see an awoken man sitting in the seat that she was sitting in, and he seems a bit, a bit like, shocked, but he has this kind of, like, smile. Ugh. Smile? Juno's gonna turn to Lynch and be like, you keep post, I can go handle this one. Alright. All right, Juno. Let me know if you need any help, though. She's like, got it. All right, Juno. You uh, you walk up. What's going on? You gotta be like, is there a problem here? Uh, the Alexi woman looks at you, and she she's like, 
Yeah, this... Uh, she's saying this in Alexi. And she's like, yeah, this creep just tried to grab my... And she, like, kind of points to, like, her horns. Things. The, like, V-shaped things on her head. They kind of, like, come yeah. down a bit more for uh, Van. She's like, just try to grab my horns. I'm assuming that's the equivalent of trying to grope someone's boots. I mean, I don't know. I don't think Juno would even know that, but you can take that in. You can take the context of what she's saying as this is a big deal. Yeah. Oh, Juno's in a, talking in a late scene, by the way. Okay. Wait, she is or is? Um, is. Okay, good. Um. She's gonna be like. She's gonna look at the guy and she's gonna be like, "If I see you, if I see you doing that again." I'm gonna kick you out. He looks at you and he's like, doing what? I'm just having a bit of fun. Yeah, that's not fun. She's gonna look at the girl and be like, I'm so sorry. Like, ugh. He, he kind of goes like, ugh, whatever. And he sort of like stands up and walks somewhere else. Alright. Jenna's just gonna check in with the woman and be like, are you good? She's like... Uh, is this an elixir? Yeah. She's like, yeah, just... I don't know. I've seen that guy here before. He kind of causes problems pretty often. I'd rather just stay away from him, I guess. But thank you for handling it. Yeah, let me know if he gets close to you again. Alright. Jenna's gonna go back over to Link's. Cool, cool. Uh, you guys say anything? Oh, she's, uh, gonna, she's Lynx. gonna tell Links to keep an eye on the guy. I'll say, I'll keep it noted. Yeah. I'm uh, sure he doesn't do anything fishy. So, the guy actually walks over to the bar and sits down sort of near oh, Cressida yeah. and, uh, and Halcyon. I'm watching. Yeah, I'm he doesn't watching. do anything right now. He just orders okay. I'm I'm just ready to crack some skulls. Specifically his skull. Oh. Cressida says she's down. Uh, well, Cressida would know. I guess Juno's gonna go on the earpiece and be like, watch out for the guy at the bar. So that way Well no, you don't have to. I I personally am ready to crack his skull. Uh <laughs> Cressida can Cressida doesn't have to be aware of what's going on. I think it's important you for Juno to, to say that anyways, maybe for Halcyon, I guess, but Cressida is in full on like uh, she ab immediately let the power go to her head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and went in full up. corrupt cop mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Um, and well, I, I mean, do you do you communicate that, Juno? Yeah, I communicate to watch out for the guy at the bar. Cool. You know, While yeah. maybe you're like communicating that, Lynx, someone grabs your shoulder and you look over and you see a woman. She goes, hey. Why me? <laughs> and how does this make Cressida feel? <laughs> Can Cressida see this happening? <laughs> uh, perception check, try that. Okay. Hold on, first... Before, she hasn't done anything yet. That's dead. She goes, hey, I say... Hello, fine patron. <laughs> what may I assist you with? She's just like... Oh, n not much, I just noticed you're there. You got you got a nice build to you. Well, thank you. I like to stay fit for um, <laughs> extracurricular activities. She like <laughs> I'm mean, uh, Lynx, is, re Lynx is referencing the crucible. Lynx is referencing the crucible. But he's <laughs> extracurricular. She she giggles. She's like, you're funny, and she moves her hand kind of off your shoulder and kind of like squeezes your bicep. She's like, yeah, I can tell. Uh, Cressida, I'd say you're able to tell that there is a woman near Lynx, but maybe mm -hmm. not knowing all of what's going on right now. Okay. Your spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, she just, like, turns up suddenly and whips around to stare across <laughs> to the lounge at Lynx. <laughs> Lynx, uh, how do you react to all that? Uh, Lynx... Uh, he... 
He doesn't want to flex, but he also doesn't want to just like push off this random patron because she's obviously he's intoxicated. No, he's not into <laughs> it. He just doesn't want to like make her feel bad. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? All right. Um. <laughs> he's he's, he's reserved. Notes. He's reserved. He's just waiting. Mm -hmm. He's she not. Goes. Yeah, she goes. I I like guys. So. And she is kind of moving her hand more across, like, your, like, chest region now. Okay, well, now Lynx is a little not reserved, and yeah, he is getting right. uncomfortable. Cressida has posted up. <laughs> Cressida, I'll, I'll, let you I'll let you roll another perception happen. check if you She's want. She's like, uh. Oh. Lynx is now... I was like 10 again. Yeah, I you're... This. I'm gonna say that you're still able to tell that someone's talking to him, but you don't know that a very I intoxicated I can't see her woman. running her hand across his chest. No, there's too many people, and they're like faced at a weird angle. Okay. Lynx, what <laughs> okay. do you do? Lynx is now, uh, he's like pushing her wrist. He's not grabbing, he's pushing his wrist, her, her wrist away. And she goes, kinda, she, kinda, yeah, no, this is good. Pushing good. shoulder. She goes, oh, what? You don't think I'm pretty? No, I am just at work. <laughs> he just like, no, I don't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she goes, you? Uh, she sighs and she walks off. Maybe. No, back off, uggo. <laughs> <laughs> She's very clearly pissed at you. Um... While, uh... Like a no sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, okay. A bit, a bit of time passes, uh, without incidents. Cressida and Halcyon... Suddenly, you hear from the Awoken Man... No, that's not how it happened at all! And it's, like, really loud. And then you hear from a Vandal that's sitting nearby, he's like, Are you dense or something? What language are they speaking? English, and they're very loud. Okay. Ooh, that kind of English, English, English sounds like trash English. talk English. Cressida's gonna like tune in and kind of yeah. to pay attention yeah. to what's going on, but it's, I mean, it's just yelling right now. Yeah, he says- and It's not like an argument argument. Yeah, no, the Awoken guy says, listen here, you forearm sack of shit. I know damn no, well that he just had nothing to he do did. with it. Uh, just to be clear, he said, I know Drift has had damn well nothing to do with it. Oh. What were you doing? Wait. No, That's a name we recognize, I'm right? Listening. Yeah, that would be the leader of the That's house. That's the main Douglas. guy. Okay. Still listening. Okay. Uh, the, the Elixir guy continues with, I know you're probably new here, but if you keep running your mouth, I'm gonna have to split it open. Cressida's and the the try to sidle closer. Yeah, and the awoken guy like... says the the awoken guy, which is the same one that Juno dealt with. Is like, oh yeah, yeah, right. you wanna you wanna you wanna try? Oh, this is the same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy. Yeah, it's the problem. Problem. It's the problem. Guys, what a fucking loser! What a stinky little fat boy! Yeah. Uh, are we still listening? Or are we doing anything? Cressida has been like sidling closer mm -hmm. to pay it partially because he said Griffiths has nothing to do with it and she wanted to get more information. But now it sounds like it's turning to a fight. Yeah. Yeah. So, I I think she's um, like, Halcyon's Sorry, go ahead. No, go for it. I was gonna say Halcyon's gonna kinda just kinda like also like Cressida like inch closer but still listen, but just prepare to like yeah. jump in yeah. before anything yeah. can actually happen. Like, uh, on guard, but not. Yeah. Uh, it kind of continues to escalate, and the, the Elixir Man is like, If you say one more thing that would even imply that Driffus isn't the one that killed Saint-14, I will oh, make shit. you regret it for the rest of your life. Ooh, does Lynx hear this shit? Uh, you can roll Perception. I'll, I'll, roll, I'll roll Perception. I'm across the bar? No, Link's also. I'll let him roll perception. No. I'm not saying yeah. it's gonna be easy. Yeah, Link's also. That's a fucking that's funny. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Well. Oh no. Here, here's no. what I'll give. You, you definitely oh, hear. Man. 
I'm gonna say even with a nat 20, it's still hard to hear from that far away. Yeah, yeah. But since you got a nat 20, I will say that you definitely heard heard the words Drifus killed Saint 14. Lynx hears that and wants to know what that conversation is about. He he is uh, that struck a nerve for him. Yeah. Do you want to go over there? No. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, where he's... where is it? How far is this away in this uh, bar? It's like, like a cross hey. the floor, you know. So it's like over here. over over here. Near to here. Yeah. Kind of like okay. Okay. Keep in mind, there's All nice right. people. Um, but as you walk over, Halcyon and Tressel, these guys are currently like standing up, and they look like they're about to beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. yeah. Tressel is gonna sidle up next to them. What do y'all say? Oh, just uh, right next to him. Just oh yeah, just right next that to him. Big boy. Dude, like, is there a problem over here? Um, the Elixir says, "Yeah, this guy's being insanely disrespectful to Drifus." Well, that's not something we can have now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the the Awoken guy is like, "Come on, this guy's just being stupid." He says, "Oh wait, is someone saying something?" No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, it's fine. The Awoken Man says, This guy's just being stupid. He thinks Drifus killed Saint 14. And uh, the election goes, He did! Look, there's. I. I. <laughs> I understand the reason for the tension, but. There's no reason to get in a fist fight <laughs> over a he said she said matter. Lynx is gonna stay reserved and uh, not the... interred because he would just make the fight worse and probably get fired. <laughs> the uh the election goes, Are you new here? Do you even understand the gravity of what he's saying? Look, no one is going to tolerate any slight against Drifus's name. If you're going to be an asshole, get out. And I'm talking to the Awoken guy, not... Yeah. Uh, like roll, roll Intimidation. I'm switching my dice. I'm tired of rolling eights. <laughs> I rolled a fucking eight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, Total. But, but I have a... I, it's a 12 with my Intimidation. Yeah, no, homeboy's just like, I'm not gonna sit here and take this from you. And he turns back <laughs> to the guy and he says... If you are so stupid that you don't even know, and the uh, the elixir is gonna take a swing at him. Do I know that Lynx is there? Uh, Lynx, how close did you get? Did you get close? I'm not quite. I sure. I want to say I crossed through the crowd, but like, I want to say I popped out like here. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know he's there, but the elixir takes a swing. Yeah, can, um, can I, like, interpose and, like, try and, like, catch his hand or something so that nobody actually gets hit? Yeah, I rolled an AC check for him. Um, roll me a dexterity saving throw, and if it beats it, I'll say you catch his punch. Dirty 20. Yeah, okay, you, you come in, you want to, like, catch his fist? Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, catch, put my hand out and catch his fist. You catch this, like, big, meaty, awoken, or sorry, not awoken, uh, it looks neat claw. And what do you do? Look, I... I'm not, not here to try and settle your argument, but we're gonna have to ask both of you to get out of this bar. We can't have fighting in here. For all we care, you can go settle this out in the streets. But you can't do this in here. The the welcome guy says me. Both of you. Yeah. We know you were causing problems over by the lounge earlier. He says I was not, but the uh, the vandal retracts his fist and kind of just looks around and then walks out. But the awoken man continues to be a problem. He's like Jeez. I haven't done what anything. Prick. Oh, that's too bad. What? Maybe you can tell uh, our friend at the door and try to get it again. And then I'm gonna start shoving him to the, towards the door. <laughs> Do a strength. He's so pushy. Do a strength. Um, <laughs> uh, just a regular strength. Yeah. It's a fourteen. Let me 
me roll to contest. Yeah, he got a 17. He says, I'm not going anywhere. God damn it. I'm gonna Get your hands and off it. of me. Does Halcyon look stronger than me? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I, but it, but Lynx is right there also. Lynx is right or, there. Like, he's close. I'm gonna Lynx turn and look at Lynx and be like, it, just kind of like gesture at the Awoken guy. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Halcyon looks spaghetti arms. <laughs> Lynx, <laughs> moves <laughs> Lynx moves in. He's gonna kind of waddle up next to I am I think I'm of size. Yeah. To this elixir man, correct? No, this no, is this the is awoken. You're oh, like oh, bigger than oh, him, yeah, probably. Oh, I'm probably am then. I'm gonna just kind of cradle my arms around him to try and just <laughs> him out. Yeah. Also, the door is this way. Uh, it's it's like. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's oh, no, the no, door. No, sorry, sorry, oh. sorry, it's this one. This is like a bathroom okay. or something. This is the door. Okay. This is easy. This is easy work. Yeah. Roll, just... roll me. Also, roll me a strength check. I'm I'm gonna try and do it nice, but if it if it doesn't go nice, then we go clean. Then we grab. We do grapple. <laughs> we do grapple more trick. More grapple. Yeah. Go more for grapple. It. Strength check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seventeen. Yeah, you are very easily easily able to move. And he says, "Hey, what? Oh, oh!" <laughs> and he starts moving. <laughs> He say, "All right, yeah, have, okay, goodbye, have and fun." Yeah. Out the door. Out the door. You, know, you, you get him out, and he kind of just leaves after you throw him out. Very good. Uh, okay. Teamwork, yeah. Hey, hey, Haley, make dream work. Haley, what's Cressida's plus to strength? It's a plus two. Fucking nothing. Okay, Cressida is significantly stronger than Halcyon. <laughs> <laughs> really? I have a zero. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You little baby he is man arms. Spaghetti arm. arms compared little, to Cressida. Little baby man arms. Little, little baby man arms. He couldn't pick anything up, but he could do like a triple backflip from standing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only have a plus one to my dad. My dad is really good. Uh, as, the, uh, as the night continues on, you kind of go back to your post. Do you know. Someone walks up and kind of like taps you on the back and says, "Excuse me." Do you know why? She's talking. There. You can't hear her. No, I can't. What? She's quiet. I, I but... turned her up earlier. I have her at max volume, and she is really quiet. But. Emma, maybe you want to try switching to your phone. Um, no. Why? Because then the stream probably won't work as good. Okay, well I can hear you now for some reason, so... Um, but yeah, someone touched on my shoulder says, excuse me, what are you doing? Uh, she turns around to look at him. Uh, yeah, it is a smaller, like, drag. Uh, and they're like, do you know where the, uh, bathroom is? Can I roll insight? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to do drugs in the bathroom. Yeah. God damn it. Let's say 13. Uh, you... Not, not drugs, but you do pick up on something in his voice that seems just a little... off. Okay. He like, has to pee off. very bad. <laughs> this boy. Uh, like, what kind of offer? Just, like just he. Off? It seems specific, suspicious. Okay. You know. Ugh. I know what I want to do, but that's so weird. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you know he's done, done something or going to do something. You're just kind of like, hey, this is weird. You want to kill him. Straight up. That's what she always wants to do. Yeah. Oh, oh my okay, god. I know what the crest of the slander. Gonna, she's going <laughs> to point them, and the, it's a guy, right? Or is it a girl? Uh, I'm imagining it's a girl. Okay. She's going to point her to the direction of the bathroom. Mm-hmm. 
And be like, it's over there. And then when they're out of earshot, she's gonna, like, earpiece Cressida and be like, hey, there's someone going into the bathroom. Uh, they seem suspicious. Would you mind pretending to go use the bathroom? And she, like, points out the description of like, the woman that walked in there. Yeah. Yeah, that works. She heads into the bathroom. She's like, hey, thank you. And then she heads in and you do your piece. Okay. All right, Cressida will follow, but she's not going to acknowledge Juno. <laughs> God damn. Uh, she is. She's going to go, uh-huh, and go do it. But she's, but she's making no, it clear not. that they're still beefing. Okay, you follow this woman into the bathroom. What happened to my head uh, stuff? You good, Ruby? She uh, also Cressida will like motion to Halcyon what she's doing so that he's mm-hmm. not just like okay, Cressida's yeah, just shifting. Yeah. Did did Links ever come back? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think he I did. I think Ruby is just geeking right now. Okay. You good, Ruby? He's muted. He's muted. I think something happened to his headset. Yeah, I'm gonna continue while he fixes that because he doesn't necessarily need to know what's going on here. Uh, but Cressa, you follow her into the bathroom. I'll say like a bit after she came in. Yeah. And you can very faintly hear two people speaking in phone. God damn it. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um. Does Cressida look like a bouncer? You look like Cressida. Cressida's gonna take her sunglasses off. Mm -hmm. And then (laughs) kind of like stumble into the door Mm -hmm. that's inside the stall that they're in and like giggle to herself and pretend to be dry. Okay, roll. Okay, yeah, roll persuasion. No, performance. You want to do performance? Yeah, performance. But my persuasion's better. Too bad. <laughs> That's the same. Yeah, go ahead Damn and do it. this. Real play this out. Tell me what you did. How do you want me to physically role play stumbling well, into a door? Just tell me what you giggling. did. Okay, you stumble in and you're like, you just go tee hee. Well, she's like giggling to herself and like, oh my god, I'm so drunk, kind of like pretending. Yeah. Ugh. You you open the stall and they both kind of there's there's two girls in here. They both kind of freak out and they're looking at you. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're like, uh. Yeah. Can I? I'm gonna be like, oh my god, so sorry, <laughs> and like back out. But can I? Are they doing anything that I Real can perception. see that's suspicious? Okay. Why are my dice bad today? Okay. It's a skill issue. That's the 19. Uh, you see one of them very quickly put away some sort of bag. Jorgas! Cool. Cressida's gonna look around and go, Oh, this isn't the law. And then she's gonna turn and leave the bathroom again. Oh, you're just leaving? Uh, okay. Yeah, and as soon as she gets outside, she's gonna like hit her earpiece and be like, These girls are doing something weird in the bathroom. <laughs> They've got a bag. Okay. Juno's gonna turn to Link and be like, I'm gonna go investigate that. I said, okay, then, I'll keep watch. And then Juno's gonna head off to the bathroom. Okay, cool. Uh, when you walk into the bathroom, you hear a very loud... <laughs> like a snort? Like he's snorting something? She, uh, maybe. I, no, it, it didn't come through all the way. I was, I was oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I was gonna make sure I was here. Um... You're not doing shit, you know that. <laughs> I get- wait, so they're like- are they like in a stall in the bathroom? Yeah. And there's two of them in the stall? Yeah, but the door's closed, so you don't necessarily know that. You just know what Preston 
Cressida's hovering outside the actual bathroom, keeping an eye on things and being present to help. But like, are they, okay, are they nice bathroom stalls that like cover everything? Or are they like American bathroom stalls where it's like, yeah, you can kind of look through the crack and see someone's coochie while they're peeing? Uh, no, uh, that's my favorite. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna assume Juno can see which stall they're two feet. Two yeah. pairs of feet. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, she's gonna go knock on the stall door and be like, everything alright in there? Uh, you hear a. Uh, 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 yeah, I just, um, uh, and another voice by someone goes, uh, she's throwing up and I'm helping her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't hear any throwing up noises. One of them goes, you just <laughs> missed it! I did just hear a very loud snort. They are completely silent. Do you guys mind coming out of the bathroom stall so we can chat face to face? I... Yeah, yeah, one sec- and you hear like ruffling sounds like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and they, they, they walk out. And they, you know, they look- well, they're fallen, so I guess you wouldn't be able to tell much of how they look. They, they are- they're out. Perception check. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'd like to proceed. Yeah, go for it. That is a 17. Yeah, you can see sort of a, a a bulge in one of their, like, clothes, like, pockets. Oh, oh no, it's a nice yes. cock you have there. Nice cock you got. No, <laughs> you see a, a very, like, strange, like, bulge in one of the pockets. You know... I was just gonna say, do you guys want to tell me what you're doing in there, or do I need to patch you down? One of them, they, they both stop and they look at each other and like, Is seeing ourselves out an option? I'm gonna have to know what you're carrying in your pocket, man. Roy, dexterity saving throw as they try to book it. Saving? Yep. <laughs> That's not my strong suit. Yeah, that's a 10. They got a... Bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, they immediately just, like, make a break for the door. Do I get a deck saving throw since I'm waiting right outside the bathroom? Yeah, I was gonna allow Juno to maybe say something as they bust oh, okay. it out. Oh. Uh, Juno's probably not gonna say anything. She's probably just gonna run after him. <laughs> yeah, okay, you run out of the... Cressa, they burst out of the door, and you recognize them. Mm-hmm. What do you do? All right, you want to also make a deck save, sorry? Yeah, I'm gonna try to like, get in the way to stop them from rolling. Sure, yeah. So deck save? Yeah. Or, okay. That's a dirty 20. Yeah, you stand in front of them with kind of your arms out and they both like bump into you and then Juno is sandwiching them with you. Hell yeah. Saying or doing anything? Yeah, I'm like, what's going on here? They're like, uh, um, we, we just, we're just heading out. Oh, so then you won't mind leaving this behind, and I, I would like to try to take. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like, say that. See where they stashed the bag. Yeah, the it's, it's, time? yeah, same, just like bolts in the pocket. I'm, I'm gonna say you're able to take it out. They don't resist you. They're like, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you can have it. Cool. Then uh, the door's right there. That's All right. The exit. And they very like hurriedly like get out, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> you know, and you are currently face to face. You want to say anything? Cressida's gonna hand her the bag of drugs. Uh, maybe you could use these to chill out. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Yo, goddamn menace. God. Holy shit. She's gonna look at her and she be like, can you behave for once in your life, Cressida? Damn. Damn. Well, Damn. Haven't experienced it yet, but I'm still young. Then I'm gonna walk away and go join Halcyon again. Jesus Christ. 
Okay. That's I'm gonna say fine, Rio is bro. extra pissed off because she's afraid that they just got away with doing illegal drugs and Cressida stopped her from contacting the bouncer on the outside to stop them from leaving before she could figure out what the drugs were. Ah. You ha- I gave the drugs just to drugs. you! <laughs> you can analyze them in a lab or something. Or you, or you can try them and find out what they are. <laughs> Yeah, but that doesn't help the fact that our suspects are gone. I'm gonna say that we're gonna move on now. That's cool. It's not, actually. Gonna, I'll say Juno's gonna radio the... the... runder. The runder. <laughs> runder. Radio the like, runder. And be like, I just picked up a substance from a couple girls in the bathroom. Do you want me to hand it to you? He says, it didn't happen to be the two girls that just bolted out of here, does it? Yeah. In a way, you should be like, the dense one kind of stopped me from contacting you before. Mm -hmm. He goes, all right. All right, yeah. Just hang on to them. I'll deal with it at the end of the night. Sounds good. And then she's going to go back to her post. Okay. You guys want to say or do anything else? Fuck no. The right. beef is unreal. The beef is unreal. I think eventually everything dies down, the light, the music turns off, and there's like a, you know, we're closed kind of feel, and everyone leaves and exits. Closing time! You, yeah, you guys, um, you know, you put away your earpieces, give them back to Runder, and he says, Good work tonight. I don't think we had many incidents. Seemed like only a handful were ex escorted. Matter of fact, Render. Wait, what? What? Did you Nothing. Say matter of fuck? I no, my my brain is working. As a matter of fuck. <laughs> As a matter of fuck. <laughs> As a matter of fuck. <laughs> Juno's gonna be like, yeah, it was pretty. It was a pretty tame night. Thank you for the opportunity. He says, "Yes, I will report your success back to the contractors." And he says, "May I have that thing we talked about?" Yeah, Juno hands it to him. Thank you. He says, "Well, you all did a good job. I appreciate the help. Feel free to take the contract if it comes up again." Thank you. Thank you, Master Sir. Master Sir. Uh, and since it's kind of a nightclub, this is, you know, this took place later in the day. Uh, it's now pretty mm -hmm. late. I'm going to say it's, it's like bedtime. <laughs> it's bedtime. So does anyone want to do anything back at the place or should we just end the session here? I don't have anything in particular. Okay. I'm a goddamn racist. Alright. Well, then good congrats for you. on your first job in the City of Devils, and I think, yeah. uh, I think we're gonna end it there. I'm gonna stop.